Oh, now I got it. Okay, so one second, I'll be, I'll be right there. Just produced a thumbnail that's too big, so thumbnail is wrong. So let me replace that real quick, and then we can take a look at the Italian tank destroyers. Not even sure if anyone is in the live stream. We close a couple of tabs and open the live stream, open the feed. Perfect. Oh yeah, I have the <laughs> live stream open on my on my phone. So if anyone is coming in and there are any comments or chat, any kind of chat, I'll be able to see it. Chat. No, you're reading right. I'm <laughs> I'm online. <laughs> I'm too lazy to produce the videos. I'm just going to do a live stream. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we're going to do today uh, because it would just take way too much time to take a look at all the Italian tank stores one by one. And I just don't have the time at the moment, but I can do a live stream where I can look at some of the new content. Yes, yes, yes. I've already heard a couple of things about the tier 8 and tier 10 tanks. Uh, heard about the um, incredible armor that these things have. And uh, I'm really worried about the fact that I don't really see any real, like, weak spots on their turrets. Like, there are a couple of, couple of um, cupolas, but I'm not really sure if they're good enough or not. It looks insane. The, the tier six, <laughs> well, the tier six, you know, actually these two, like the tier five and tier six, they actually were the only tanks or the only tank, um, tank destroyers of the Italian line that were actually built. I doubt that we have, that, if, that we even have blueprints on the tier seven and eight and nine and 10, uh, probably a majority of them are just like kind of drawn up vehicles that never really existed. I haven't seen the tier 8 premium one, except for the armor profile of the tier 8 premium one, and that looked pretty disgusting. Um, I think the armor was like impenetrable from the front, uh, but, but if you have like um, heat, you were able to penetrate the turret on some areas, I think. But at the same time, um, like these these tanks have crazy amount of armor that we we don't have on any other kind of line except for the Americans. But at least the Americans don't have turrets. Um, I mean, and it only starts with the T twenty eight, where the T T uh, the tier seven already starts with the Italian ones, um, where they have a lot of armor. And I think we're just gonna go through them real fast. I want to see how expensive they are. I want to take a look at their armor profile. I want to see how many modules they have because uh, there are probably a lot of modules because they seem to be quite cheap to actually get in terms of research points. You only need 197,000 for the Minotauro, which is not that high of a cost for research points. But um, when I look at them, they probably have a lot of modules they have three guns, four guns on the tier 8, three guns on the tier 9, only one gun on the tier 10, and on the tier 7 you have another three guns, but at least one of the guns is always kind of already unlocked, so uh, that's going to be quite interesting. The tier 6 spotting range is stupid. <laughs> Wait, like what is the spotting on this? Does it have like really good spotting or does it have really bad spotting? 
360 meters view range for a tier 6 tank destroyer. That's that's pretty good, I think. I mean, uh, P34 biz. View range 300. Yeah, it's the same as the tier 6 tank, uh, the medium tank. Um, what does the, the Chinese tier 6 have in spotting? Well, okay, I already have something on the vehicle itself, so... Um, probably going to be boosted i'm just going to take it away because this anyhow is the test server you can do whatever you want to do um 358 meters so i don't i don't even know is it too low or is it too high because i can't really tell um i don't play a lot of tier six to be fair don't um, play a lot of tier five or six so i basically always just slam some kind of equipment to give me better view range on it and that i call it a day They have good camo values in these tank destroyers, but aren't these Italian tank destroyers supposed to be played in close quarter? Like what I've what I've noticed is that they have a lot of armor, but their their gun depression is also quite good, but their accuracy is usually quite bad. Uh, either way, we're gonna take a look at um, the the different versions we have. I'll have to get this bloody key out of my pockets because it's just really annoying. Um, so you start at tier 4, and you actually have once again a tier 5 that um, starts off uh, at least half of a line. We don't have tank destroyers starting in from tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, so we only have tank destroyers from tier 5 on, but that's, I think, that's, that's fine. Um, they probably have some early tank destroyer versions at tier... That could they, that they could fa uh, put into tier three and four, but um, generally speaking, I think the less tank they add into the game, the better because the balancing is usually pretty poor. Low standard pen, okay. DPM of the tier six. Um, oh, the DPM is already at two thousand two hundred and ninety-five, and that's even with the. That's with the standard gun. Oh, it's at 3,300 with the upgraded gun? What? What the hell? That is a tier 7 gun. But it only fires high explosive. But at tier 6, 105 millimeters of penetration of high explosive is going to be more than enough. <laughs> like, what? What is this? Okay, so, yeah, we start with the Semovente M41. Um... It's the tier 5, it's the one tank that looks historically the most accurate and is also a tank that the Italians used during World War II, so at least we have a little bit of a historical vehicle once more in the game, which is quite nice in my opinion. Um, it looks pretty basic, it just looks like a tank destroyer without turret, um, and it was supposed to be probably some kind of assault gun to support the infantry taking positions. Uh, I think a lot of the tank destroyers never really were meant to be tank destroyers, but they were just meant to be assault guns. But um, they later were made into tank destroyers. Um, because the Stuck 3, I, I remember, was never meant to be a tank destroyer at, the, at first. But uh, the guns are quite interesting. So what about the modules? I already have the modules, but... Um, at tier 5, it's not going to cost a lot, so I'm just going to fully upgrade this vehicle real fast. We're going to purchase it, and we're just going to go with a full crew. And uh, we're going to take a look at what the tank looks like uh, in stock and in um, the upgraded states. Um, I'm not sure if I can play all of them today. Probably not. But I definitely want to try out the tier 10. I want to try out the tier 9. And... Um, I think maybe the tier 7 and the tier 8. The tier 8, the standard tier 8 is actually already worse than the, the premium one. But I don't think we were kind of surprised with that. Oh yeah, that... Um... I've been I've been uh, setting up my, my laptop right now. And I've installed the... 
um, the test client so I can uh, do all of the testing myself later on or on another day. But uh, if you're on the North American server, <laughs> that could be quite, quite helpful uh, where we can just kind of test out the armor a little bit because the armor is probably the most interesting about these tanks. Uh, because these, I think, at least from what I've understood from the... Um, from the video from Wargaming, they really wanted to uh, have a line that is really aggressive in your face, and the armor is like the key ingredient for that. And that kind of, it pikes my interest, but at the same time, it scares me because I'm afraid of them, um, them doing something very, very stupid uh, where they add too much armor, no weak spots, and we're kind of stuck with tanks that we cannot deal with. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that would be great, but I would first want to go through the tanks if you have enough time. Uh, other than that, um, I would I would really, um, yeah, I would open a, a, a testing room to see what the uh, tier, I'd say from tier 7 to tier 10, what these tanks are really like with their armor. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> I don't have enough time, unfortunately. I'm uh, it's, it's getting pretty late here, um, but... I'm definitely going to be online for at least two hours just to see what what the new content is about because patch 1.18 it's it's really a large patch it has a lot of different a lot of different things which is quite interesting they changed the maps around they rebalanced vehicles there are a lot of tanks we can take a look at um but yeah I, I think the Italian tanks are probably the most interesting right now okay so let's let's continue before I kind of stay here for forever so we have the semovente this is the stock variant um to be fair i don't play enough tier 5 to really say a lot about the tank armor wise 50 millimeters is it's not the the best amount of armor and it's quite flat so this tank shouldn't be a problem to deal with it has a 75 millimeter gun with very really bad penetration but it's a stock gun so it should be that important Mobility wise, it looks quite slow from the get go, but it has decent concealment and spotting at 350 is probably about the average that you get at tier 5. So you can actually get the upgraded engine, you can get the the gun, the upgraded gun, which is I think year 27 instead of year 18. And finally, now you have a, a long 75mm gun. By, yeah, long 75mm gun. And. It improves the penetration by about 20 millimeters, but other than that, it looks a little bit more like a tank destroyer than the first version. And the specific power to weight ratio has increased drastically. Top speed doesn't go up, but the specific power to weight ratio increases drastically if you have the uh, tier 4 engine instead of the tier, five, uh, tier 3, because the tier 4 engine increases the horsepower by a whopping... Uh, 105 horsepower so that's quite impressive that's very interesting to see yeah um i'm really interested in the map changes the map changes are going to be the changes that will really change the way that we play certain maps there has been a okay <laughs> there has been a like a meta or there have been certain metas on certain maps that have kind of ingrained themselves into these maps because they haven't been changed in a long time. And I think that could really be um, split open and that's going to be quite interesting. So the final gun, you have 2,295 DPM, which is quite nice for a tier six tank destroyer. Um, 127 millimeters of penetration with the standard AP shell, 175 with the heat shell. Um, the shell velocity, is decent, it's okay, uh, nothing too bad, but 175 millimeters of penetration with the heat shell is actually quite nice. And you have quite impressive high explosive pen with 70 millimeters of armor that you can um, go through on certain vehicles. So that's pretty neat if you ask me. Shell velocity on the other hand on the AP uh, on a high explosive shell is not that great. So I think, yeah, this is looking like a tank that might be fun and it might have a little bit of a historical flair to it i just want to see if they have any kind of real italian um camouflage 
to make it look even more Italian. So this this kind of is something that reminds me of an Italian tank in World War II. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to put it on. Uh, they're going to be coming out in the upcoming patch. So we're currently on the test server with the first iteration. And then we're going to go into the release date somewhere probably in, I guess, September. It's usually a month or maybe a bit longer. Um, and then we're going to get these tanks and all the changes into the game. Um, they have one or two test servers at least. At least two test servers, I think, when they release content like this. But it's not going to be coming out next week. So don't be afraid that they're going to ruin the entire kind of um, economy and <laughs> the entire game in just a, a week. It's going to be two, two, three, four, maybe one month. Or maybe a bit longer than that <laughs> when they start ruining the balance again. So the next tank is the Semovente M43 Basotto. It's a really cool name. And it basically just looks like a more wide ver version of the um, other Semovente. Uh, I think it looks quite neat. 28,500 experience. I think that's um, doable. But still for a tier 6, that's almost a million credits. Have tier 6 tanks always been this expensive? Because I, I certainly don't recall um, having spent that amount of credits on tier 6 tanks. But I might just have not bought a tier 6 tank in a very long time. So this is the stock variant. It is the top gun that you have on the prior tier 5 tank destroyer. And um, I really want to see what the mobility is like. Because you have still the old engine. You have the very stock engine first. So you have to kind of get the second engine. So don't skip the, um, the second engine on the... Um, Semovente M41 because you will need it on the Basotto and if the engine is not there you're going to have only 10 horsepower um, or like 10 horsepower per ton and that's going to be really really bad so don't do that um, you have four guns and they're all quite expensive if you accumulate them together it's basically 40,000 41,000 experience just for all of the guns so that's basically the same amount of experience you would need for a tier 8 vehicle almost. And then also you'd have to spend 5,000 experience on the track and 1,600 experience on the uh, Maybach engine, which only improves the engine power by 50 horsepower. So let's um, take a look what this tank looks like with the... Um, upgraded tracks and with the second gun because this is the first time you get like the 90 millimeter gun so the 90 millimeter gun um there's there's actually quite an interesting array of guns in this tank and it looks ridiculous <laughs> look at this the gun itself is longer than the tank um or it's almost the same length this looks kind of ridiculous if you ask me but um <laughs> could be a dick joke somewhere in there but you know what i want to see what the penetration is like for this kind of length on a gun uh 165 millimeters of penetration is kind of lacking like for such a long gun you only have 165 millimeters of penetration it's kind of weird um and the apcr penetration is really bad as well it only improves by 30 millimeters 30 millimeters can have quite an impact but um, doesn't look to be that 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 great of a gun and the dispersion is also quite bad aim time is i think okay but yeah this gun looks it looks historic yeah i think <laughs> i think you're right um kind of interesting to see i did not expect the gun to be this long i expected it to be a lot shorter on this tank because like the breach must be right here so like doesn't that weigh a ton? <laughs> Is this tank was this tank like dragging the gun all the time? <laughs> but uh, you know what? That's not that important right now. We're just gonna move on to the second gun that you unlock. It's the Canona um, Canone da one hundred and two forty, uh, which is a hundred and five millimeter gun. No wait, not hundred and five. It's a hundred and two millimeter gun. Yeah, the recoil, the recoil must have been terrible. Um, 
A very interesting choice of caliber. It looks very similar to the 90mm gun, but it looks even... Like, it looks about the same length. But it looks slimmer, even though the, the, the shell type is larger, right? It should be, like, bigger in diameter. Uh, but either way, you get a lot better penetration. You get APCR shells, which only have 900 meters per second shell velocity. And you get some nice heat shells that improve the penetration all the way up to 215 millimeters. Um, the high explosive shells, they aren't that great. But the shell, oh, the shell cost for the premium shells is quite high, 4,400. For a tier 6 tank... Like, usually, I think the premium shells on tier 6 tanks are not that expensive. Like, let me, let me, let me get a tier 6, another tier 6 tank destroyer into, um, into this selection. Because I don't think that these shells are as, no, they're also as expensive. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm wrong once again. So, either way, I must have had a lot of, um, credits lying around to, to be spamming <laughs> cold. But I, yeah, I usually don't spam gold, so it's fine, uh, especially at tier 6. This is the gun that I, comes to mind when I think of this tank. When I think of this tank, this is the gun I think of. So this is a 105mm gun, and it's like a, a shorter version. Uh, short barrel, doesn't have AP ammunition. It only has high explosive and high explosive anti-tank ammunition. Um, which is even more expensive than the other premium shells on the 102mm gun. And this gun looks to be really crazy because you have, with the premium shell, 230mm of penetration, 360 alpha, so the alpha damage goes down instead of the 440 you have with the high explosive. But you only have 105mm of penetration, the shell velocity is atrocious. 410 meters per second or 330 meters per second but you carry 55 rounds so that's a lot of damage you can do and as we already mentioned the dpm is at 3442 and if we put some equipment on here just for fun um yes show me the bomb equipment um go down here <laughs> we're gonna put this one on and we're going to also add on vents just for fun of it to see what it's like <laughs> we have 4132 dpm without any premium consumables and without any brothers in arms if we have brothers in arms on this one we can do over 4000 dpm with this gun um with bond equipment um which is ridiculous if you think about it but we're going to try it out in the game afterwards because I, I really want to I want to see what this tank is capable of. I'm going to probably get like a crew member from the other Italian tanks that I have and um I'm I'm going to try this one out. You know what? I'm just going to go get uh, the uh the crew that I have on the Bisonte and um I don't have space in the barracks anymore. So I'll have to buy some barrack space as well to put the crew into the barracks. There's so much so many things you have to do to really get everything ready for a, a tank like this. I think this is going to be the new Hetzer at um, Tier 6. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of those tanks that um, people will be will be running around in uh, and, you know, just blasting, like, Tier 5 tanks <laughs> and getting blasted probably at Tier 7 and Tier 8. Okay, so let's just do that. But I'm really happy that they have improved the load times. Um, Wargaming have kind of uh, fixed their code for the game. And they reduced the load time by, f I think, about 60 to 70%. So everything loads really, really fast now. Oh, look at that. 4,403 DPM. And uh, the one thing that we also would want to have on this tank, probably, is to, um, to have something that improves our very bad dispersion so we're gonna add this one on top and then we could probably go into battle and have some really fun games with this thing um just go with with this oh and you can also add a booster 
So we can also all, um, put on the orderly Amorak to get a, then an additional 2.5%. And um, yeah, making our DPM 4,553. So that's that's pretty nice. I think that sounds... Oh, and also field modifications. Don't forget about the field modifications because you can use them at tier 5, uh, no tier 6. And then you can also put on the accuracy buffing thing. Um, or, yeah, then you're going to have even better accuracy. The only thing you're going to be lacking is the shell velocity. Which you thankfully cannot uh, improve with field modifications. Because that would be completely nuts. So 46,000 experience for the tier 7. Uh, we're going to purchase it without a crew because we're just going to move the crew over. And it's going to be 1.3 million credits. Oh yeah, you're right. Because um, it's... Yeah, exactly. Because this is uh, bond equipment. Doesn't matter where it is. As you can see, I don't really... Uh, I really don't uh, have a lot of bond equipment because I'm really poor. Um, in my World of Tanks account. <laughs> so uh, I, I just put always like uh, the first thing into the slot where I can use it. And I, and I always forget that the Bond equipment kind of doesn't need, have any more improvements because it already is improved. Is the tier 10 really that broken? I have not seen any gameplay. I have not seen any preview videos. Um, I've been thinking that Wikibaby would have put something out, but... Um, he, he actually didn't make a video, um, but I didn't check today, so it could be today. But um, I was expecting a lot more a lot more videos. Hmm. Okay, so we have the tracks. We have two new guns that you can get and a turret. Uh, Tipo 2 traverse speed is tr pretty atrocious. Um, but other than that, the armor is impressive. Tier 7 tank with 260 millimeters of turret armor. That is um, it's a little bit of a joke, if you ask me. So the stock engine, which is going to be this the fully upgraded... No, it's not the fully upgraded engine on the um, Tier 6. Stock engine has 600 horsepower. Um, so if you get the second engine, there's only an increase uh, of 50 horsepower on top of the 600. But other than that... I think it's always nice to have more horsepower, um, but it's not that crazy of an uh, of an improvement. So I don't think it's as necessary to be the first thing to get on uh, specific tanks. I would much rather first get like the gun because this tank must look really weird with the uh, the seventy mil uh, ninety millimeter gun that you have on the the prior tank. Oh, he's on vacation. Yeah, that's that's nice having vacation. I, ex I would have expected him to actually take his PC on vacation because he always does that, which is kind of so counterproductive because why would you take your your PC on vacation? Um, but obviously, if you're a World of Tanks, if you're a content creator, I understand. You cannot anticipate when Wargaming are going to be releasing new content and um, you're going to be racing to get that video to show what it's all about. But, you know, that's the luxury I have. Um, I don't need to make this my job. So I can just make whenever, make a video whenever I feel like making one. But um, not everyone else can do that. So I understand. So let's see. Yeah, like to be fair, you know, I'm not the I'm not the biggest quickie quickie baby fan, but I even like I I know there's a lot of drama on World of Tanks on uh you know the YouTube sphere. Um my channel is tiny, so you know, I'm never involved in any of those kind of things because my channel is like tiny. Nobody knows that I exist, and that's completely fine. But I know that he has been like producing videos and having live stream every single day. And I get tired of playing World of Tanks for more than two hours a time. And I really cannot imagine playing World of Tanks for eight hours a day, every single day, and live streaming it as well. It must it must be like destroying you, <laughs> you mentally. So you really need to break from from all of that because it cannot be good for you. 
it's it's just like this game is this game can be really taxing and i understand when people need a break from it so um probably it's going to reinvigorate you because when you play world of tanks you can become like a real monster uh, if things are not going your way uh, i've seen that happen to myself i've seen it happen to quickie baby as well that's why i don't really like his live streams but um yeah that's just that's just me um this tank has a thousand one hundred twenty hit points with the stock gun um the turret is very far at the front um the turret is quite angled but 220 millimeters of of armor at the front of the turret is quite impressive the lower plate is probably a lot thinner it's quite large so i think you should be able to go through it and the stock ammo with the stock gun is quite atrocious um 165 millimeters of penetration with the AP shell, not much better with the APCR. So I would probably go for the upgrade at 90 millimeter as soon as possible. So the upgrade at 90 millimeter, it's always good when they have like a muzzle break and everything looks like modern. <laughs> um, so the 90 millimeter gun uh, dispersion values are actually quite good. Aim time is not too bad. DPM is... Nah, it's not the best. But the average penetration improves. Um, but only by a little bit. The APCR shell actually doesn't change by a lot. So you really want to get past this gun. You want to get the top turret. Because the top turret is going to give you an additional 40 millimeters of armor at the front. Which is really nice to have. And all of a sudden the turret reminds me of an M41's turret. But very large... And much more pancakey, like very more, much more flat than um, the than the uh, the M forty one turret. Does it change the DPM at all? It actually improved the dispersion even more. But other than that, I don't think there was a large improvement except for the gun traverse speed and the turret's armor at the front. But I think with the hundred and five mm gun, things will change quite drastically with the tier 7 and it might be um, a pretty nice diamond um, could be a diamond like we haven't looked into the mobility at all oh yeah it's the specific power to weight ratio is quite bad the top speed is okay but this the power to weight ratio is quite bad the traverse speed is also quite atrocious concealment obviously we cannot really have any impact on that because we're don't have any crew on it right now but the protection goes up the gun is now better better alpha damage average penetration is still on the low side and the premium penetration is not that great but at least the shell velocity is better than on the standard penetration the dispersion also has uh become worse by quite a lot but you have 10 degrees of gun depression which is quite nice so yeah like from the the stats we see right now it doesn't look to be that um impressive um at least in terms of general stats but i probably think this is going to be still a very good tank in the right scenario where you can be in a hull down position and uh, have a little hill in front of you and you can basically just um shoot the guys Oh, it also has an autoloader. Wait, I, I forgot to say say that about this tank. It has an autoloader um, and it has three shells in a magazine. So that's quite nice. I don't think you can complain too much about that. But the, is the intra-clip reload really seven seconds for a single shot? Yeah, I really I want to test this one out. I want to see what this one is like, but we're going to move on to the tier 8 first. Um because the tier 8 looks quite interesting. 73,000 experience for the tier 8. Hmm. 105 it has four guns as well. And the turrets and the guns are actually kind of um, in different compartments, which is which is really weird. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go through this all. <laughs> I know it must be quite boring. Um, if anyone is still watching the live stream, 
But I think for anyone who's watching the video afterwards and they really want to see what the tanks are like, at least they have something to, to look into because I, I basically just don't have the time to go through every single tank individually, unfortunately. So, improved track, you have better track traverse, Does it is it worth going up to the new engine? 50 horsepower more, so it's actually not that more impressive. Doesn't improve itself by much, but it's always nice to get, still, a little buff. Um, more tracks. The new turret, like I want to see what the turret is actually like on this one. Uh, let me see. This tank looks really dumb. Like, some tanks just look really stupid. And I think this looks like a really dumb tank. This reminds me of the British um, Excalibur. Because the Excalibur kind of looks very similar to it. But I just think that it looks kind of stupid. It looks like it has no neck. <laughs> it looks like a turtle, turtle with no neck. Uh, either way, we're going to go with the upgrade turret. Put that on the vehicle, see what it's like with the upgraded turret. Okay, so I think the turret looks uh, a little bit more interesting. 260 millimeters of armor at the front, 40 at the back, uh, 60 on the side, 40 at the rear. There are no real cupolas on this one, so no real weak spot. There's one here, I'm not sure if that one counts, or that one over there. So this is going to be quite tough, uh, because this is going to be like 260 at the front. Can anyone actually go through that with um, premium? Well, probably if you're playing a tank at tier 10 with uh, heat shells, you're going to be able to deal with this. Uh, but there are like very weird versions of um, of these guns. There's 120 millimeter gun, um, 59 it's called. So it's of the year, it's from the year 59, I assume, and it's also an auto loading gun, and it has AP and heat, 226 millimeters of penetration. DPM is not the best, unfortunately, but the heat shells have 300 millimeters of penetration. So this is really, really crazy. 300 millimeters of penetration is really good. And the high explosive pen of 120 is also very, very good with very good shell velocity of 902 meters. So this looks like the gun to go um, when you're playing this, this tank. Uh, the gun itself is also ridiculously long. Like the tank, it's like as long as the tank. Uh, I don't know, these tanks look a little bit comical to me. Um, the controver is not the best, yes. Uh, the angles that you have is only in total 70 degrees to the left and the right together. Um, gun depression is still great. Aim time is okay. Dispersion is not that great, but you can work with that, I think. And when you move on to the other gun on top, because you ha actually have to get the, the two guns on top to move on to the tier 9, um, you could actually skip the 120, go for the 105, but maybe the 120 is the way to go. Yeah, that's like exactly what I'm, I'm thinking about. Uh, what happens when you turn the tank and the turret? Uh, because I have the feeling that these turrets, because they're quite rounded, they are kind of flat on the, on the side, but when, when you turn the turret around to the left and the right, there are quite a few players who are going to be bouncing off of them uh, because they still have a lot of armor um, and you don't really know where the 260 millimeters of armor kind of stops and where it you know changes over into the 60 millimeters of, of thickness. So I think much, much rather I would just shoot in, inside of the tracks, like on the side here, instead of the turret, because you cannot know if the turret is really going to be, you know, as as thick or as thin as it, as it is, and the angles are going to have quite a big impact on the way that you have to engage these, these guys now. This is the, um, the first 105 millimeter gun. It's also autoloader. Uh, the DPM is actually worse because the alpha is worse, but you have 200 millimeters of penetration, 230 APCR, so this one doesn't look all that impressive. Still, you have 105 millimeters of uh, pen with high explosive, so that's going to be quite nice. And now, finally, this is the one that I'm very curious about because it could be 
with better, better DPM than the 120mm gun, but it doesn't look that much more impressive. The dispersion is a lot better. That one is certainly going to be, uh, might be impressive or uh, quite different for, for players like who really want to have the best dispersion possible without having to use maybe the equipment. Because if you use this and you use the bond equipment with uh, a rammer, you might just have better DPM or maybe a lot better DPM than 120, than the 120, but you lose the 100, um, you lose the heat shell which has way better pen than the APCR shell, and you lose the very nice high explosive shell that the 120 has. So, yeah, as you mentioned, I think the 120... No, you can't... Oh, yes! It's a premium... Uh, no, it's not a premium. It's an autoloader. You can't use a rammer. I forgot about that. So you can use improved vents. Improved vents is the only way you can improve your DPM on the equipment side but you can use well we don't need to have that in there but you can well let's see what, what kind of equipment can you use on this one because since it's a tank destroyer oh boy improve i think improved rotation mechanism is probably going to be really helpful with this tank but also because of its very bad mobility and bad specific power to weight ratio, you might use the second slot as like a turbocharger. Um, because that might just improve your your general characteristics of mobility by a little bit. And then when you have the choice of specializing the tank, you might go with the mobility slot and uh, you're going to be um, going with that. I think improved aiming might be quite useful when you are um, when you are running the 120 millimeter gun, but for the 105 millimeter gun, I don't think you will need it too much. But the 120, I think that's where you really need the um, improved aiming uh, equipment piece. So moving on to the tier nine. Sup, David? Oh, you have okay. So you're you're ready for the line. Four hundred thirty-nine thousand seven hundred forty experience to open all modules. Oh my god, that's terrible. Wait, you only have seven thousand credits, or you only have seven million credits? I hope it's seven million, because I'm currently uh, on my main account. I'm at like two hundred fifty thousand credits so <laughs> i'm not going to be unlocking this uh, tech tree anytime soon <laughs> i can tell you that that much but uh, at least looking at it uh, is is also quite nice for you know the the poor um the poor world of tanks players uh, just you know seeing the things that you cannot afford <laughs> oh my god this looks terrible <laughs> this tank looks so ridiculous look at the turret what is this? Is this a bunker on tracks? Well, probably it is. Well, greetings back to Ontario from um, Switzerland. Close to Zurich, but a place you probably never heard of. And the tier 9. Let's take a look at the tier 9. So, the engine... Once again, it only improves the engine power by 50 horsepower, so it's a nice boost, but I expect something better. <laughs> it looks like they really don't want these tanks to have decent horsepower to ton, um, or, you know, the power to weight ratio. Um, so they are not very good at accelerating, and they're supposed to go to a place uh, to... To kind of just stick there and fight it out. So they're going to be quite useless in, I think, quite a few scenarios where you need the mobility to get somewhere. Uh, but they have a lot of armor at the front. So the engine we can probably get right now. Um, we probably have to get the tracks before you get the next gun. Because the, uh, the limit that you have is at, at 53 tons right now. 
like if we go to mobility you can see it's okay it's at 50.8 and if you put some equipment on it it's gonna weigh about 51 or 52 tons and you probably will need to have the tracks before you are able to to get the first or second um, upgrade piece So the first gun you get the Canone the 12060 which looks pretty neat. DPM is not that great. The intra clip reload is really long, 6.6 .6 seconds. The alpha damage is at 400, but you do have how many shells do you have in this magazine? four shells so that's quite a lot it's a lot of shells but the intra clip reload is actually quite long um the reload time itself is not that long 23.97 seconds oh no wait are these auto reloaders or are these auto loaders before i say anything anything bad <laughs> is it auto loaders or auto reloaders because i i might be just taking a wrong look at everything um They are auto loaders, right? They're not the they're not the medium tank auto reloaders. My God, there are just so many different. Oh yeah, okay, so it's different. Okay, they're auto loaders. At least I got it right uh, because I was really confused. Six point six seconds for intra clip is really long, um, and it is like it is really long for a single shot. In six point six seconds, a lot of things can happen with tanks. So. That's something you have to get used to because it's not just on a tier 9, it's also on the tier 8 and the tier 7s. Um, having that kind of intra club reload is going to be a little painful, but to have the reload of only 23.97 seconds for like 4 shots is actually quite, quite amazing. You just have to wait for a long time to get these shots into the barrel or into the breach. Um, but yeah, the first gun, aim time, dispersion, everything just looks okay. Average penetration looks okay as well. But with the heat shells, you at least get 303 millimeters of penetration. And the high explosive shells with 120 millimeters of um, penetration is also quite nice. But this is where hopefully the appearance changes and the tank just looks a lot better than it does right now. Oh, I'm not sure if that is better or not. It looks a little bit better. Um, it's more rounded, so I think it's going to be, offer even better protection. But what I'm thinking right now is, just like on the E75, you have these um, view range finders or range finders on the side. Are these weak spots? Can you actually penetrate the tank by shooting them? Because on Tanks GG, they actually show off that they are kind of not really... Um, a part of the tank so you can hit them but if you shoot right here and here you actually are able to penetrate the um, the tank itself so that's quite interesting dispersion hasn't changed uh, um, the aim time has changed a little bit when you change to the new go uh, new turret but other than that there's not a lot of change so yes and no right it's like it's like really weird sometimes you hit like this this part which doesn't belong to the tank other times you actually are able to penetrate it one of the things i've noticed is when this tank is like not looking at you and you're somewhere on the side and you have only have the turret to shoot at i think the gun mantlet right here is a very obvious weak spot that you can go through you just have to be really lucky or really unlucky um to kind of bounce off right here on the gun mantlet but like this part where the gun is uh, aligned or where it sticks out, that's where you can actually penetrate the tank, at least on tanks GG. Um, so really interesting. So this is the top gun that you can get. Eight seconds intra clip reload, Oof. but the alpha goes up um, 490. So the DPM goes up as well. Still 10 degrees of gun depression. You have 40 degrees to the left and 40 degrees, degrees to the right. Um, to bank to the left and the right. The gun traverse speed is quite atrocious. It's really, really bad. 18.77 seconds. Um, 
So yeah, that's going to be that's going to be quite hard to 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 um to deal with. It's going to be quite annoying. The AP shell. That's great shell velocity, thousand two hundred fifty two meters per second. Average penetration, I think, is decent for a tier nine. Um, three hundred twenty five millimeters of penetration with the heat shell, but the shell velocity is quite atrocious. And then you have 127 millimeters of penetration with the high explosive shell, but the shell velocity is quite bad. Um, the issue is since they are all auto loaders um, carrying high explosive shells, I'm not really sure if you wanna if you wanna only be carrying like if you wanna have a lot of clips of high explosive with you. Um, obviously, you're gonna need the uh, intuition um, perk. Yeah, try it. Try them all out. Tell me what they're like. I think I'm probably gonna start a poll like a couple of weeks later when people have tested out the vehicles to kind of see what people think of these tanks because they are very special in the way that wargaming have put them into the game. I think and um, like the way that wargaming wargaming intend the players to play these vehicles uh, because they are supposed to be in your face, right? So. That's that's what I'm kind of expecting. So this is the tier ten, and the tier ten looks it looks like the most like the beefiest one, and I think it looks quite cool. This is the one that actually looks like it actually it actually looks decent. Um, it's a Minotauro. It has a cupola at the back, and I know that the cupola can be penetrated. This cupola right here, if you can get a shot on it, it is only like 100 millimeters thick. And you can actually go through it. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words, Michael. It's always nice, always nice to hear your positive thoughts on my, on my videos. <laughs> while somebody else is completely trashing me in the comments below. <laughs> But yeah, the, the turret looks quite nice. Um, it looks very difficult to, to penetrate from the front. Um, and I think back here, the cupola is like the only weak spot you can go through. Maybe this part of the turret here, that might be a, a weak spot. Intraclip reload is long again, 8 seconds. Uh, but you have 5 shells instead of 4. The average penetration goes up. The AP shells have very nice shell velocity. Everything has great shell velocity. Look at that. 1,256 meters per second on the heat shell. 1,256 meters per second on the high explosive shell. And 130 millimeters of penetration. But the shell is really expensive. So, okay. It looks, it looks, it looks fascinating. Uh, because the, the heat shells... They look really, really good. Average damage is very high up there. Average penetration is very, very good. 345 millimeters of pen. Um, 1,256 meters per second shell velocity. It just... It, uh, it, looks, it looks OP, the shell velocity on the, on the heat shell. DPM, I guess you can work with that. Survivability. Looks pretty impressive, 300 millimeters of armor at the front. Oh my god. Mobility is, is quite atrocious though. Okay. I think I want to try out the tier 10 first. Go into a game, try out the, uh, the, the how the tank feels, how it plays. It's a lot of free experience that you actually have to uh, use on uh, on these tanks. I almost spent 1 million free experience right there. Um, because you start, I think you start with 100 million. And you can see that I used a lot of free experience to get all of the equipment. Um, or all of the modules. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of experience. So you can basically already save up your free experience if you want to go through... Not having 5k, well, you mean like 5 5k? This is this is a test. This is a test server. 
I'm not on my, this is not my, uh, <laughs> this is not my World of Tanks account. At least it's the test server where everyone starts up with this amount of experience. So <laughs> if you want to try it out, you can download the test client and you can try out all the vehicles that um, are in the tech trees. Um, yeah, I, I'm always constantly poor, so I, I don't have more than 250,000 credits on my account. So <laughs> yeah, I wish I could transfer some of that over, could finally buy some tier 10 tanks that I have. Yeah, you can you can forget uh, about the test server being a competitive kind of, you know, standard World of Tanks experience because everyone just loads up on the gold. Everyone is loading on up on the best equipment, um, and you you can basically forget about that um, at all in in uh, yeah in a test environment. Can't really test it all that well because everyone is just going to be using the best equipment that they have and uh, the final test will be the release um and that's going to be that's going to be quite um challenging because the first two three weeks are going to be a lot of spamming of these tanks everyone is going to just rush through and after that the real testing starts to be fair then we'll see how these tanks really are. But it's it's nice to get a first kind of taste and the first look at what these tanks actually are like um, when you play them, just to, to get a feel on, on the, the vehicles. Um, there, if you go to the World of Tanks website, um, doesn't really matter which server you're on, there should be a news article. Wait, I can actually post you the link um, for the North American server. The test server actually is just uh, open for everyone. So you're going to be playing with the RU server, the EU server, and the C server, and the North American server. Um, so you're going to be able to play with everyone. Um, and you can log in during like specific times. Uh, these like the test server only um it is only open during specific times i think but it could be open now for quite a while um uh, but it's like usually a several iterations of the test server so let me just find the the link and post it in here So if you scroll down the link, um, there should be a test client installer and you will be able to download it. It's like 80 gigabytes, so it's a lot of space if you use the HD model. So uh, maybe use the SD model if you don't really care too much about what the game looks like. You need 480 universal blueprints plus 150 national blueprints Plus 440,000 base experience to research them fully. If you're gonna buy and put all the best stuff on them, all you're gonna need 18 million credits. Oh my god. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, th I don't think I don't think my workplace is gonna allow me to grind World of Tanks um during <laughs> during the work hours. <laughs> but uh I think I think I'm not really going to be preparing at all. Um, I I'm not really I'm not really thinking about you know getting the tanks at, at the beginning. I'm probably gonna be enjoying the uh, um I'm gonna be enjoying my like tier five and tier six. Have a little bit of fun of in the tier six, but I'm not gonna go much further than that. Uh, yeah, we can platoon if you want to platoon. Sure thing, we can uh we can go through. Uh, the different tiers together and um, see what the tanks are like in game. I just need to get like the right equipment on it just to fully test out the max, you know, um, capability of this tank. I really want to see what the, the best version of this tank can do. Um, I just need to put on like one or two more things on it. Uh, let me see. Let me see. 
improved aiming. I'm going to put improved aiming on it, but I'm going to see if it's actually something you need or not. Uh, then I'm going to put some, I'm going to put the venting system on it. And finally, I'm not even sure what, what does this tank need? Does it need a little bit of speed? Is it too slow? It is too slow. I'm going to put turbo on it as well. Hopefully this is going to fix some issues. And I'm going to put a camel on it as well. The Italy camo looks quite nice because the tank is so large. There's a lot of camo that you have on it. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to ready up on the tier 10. Just hit the ready. I want to, I want to see what this tank is all about. Oh, you have the Doge skin. <laughs> the the Doge skill, skin is quite nice. I like that. Oh, I, I forgot that I was I forgot that I was the commander of the platoon. I haven't platooned in a, quite a while. You have nine hundred thousand free experience. Oh my god, nine hundred thousand free experience is uh, that is uh, quite a handful of free experience. <laughs> Sorry, I I had to I had to blow all my free experience on the. Um, Object 780 and the Object 7, no, what was it? The Object, the Object 25, no, 277, no, I have no idea. You know, the other tank destroyer you were able to get for like, I don't know, a, a smack ton, 400,000 free experience, something like that. Um... Okay, that, are we just gonna go... You know what? This tank has a lot of gun depression. This tank has a lot of... Uh, <laughs> this tank has a lot of um, armor at the front. I think we're just gonna sit in the middle. Yeah, we, we could go over there, but we could also go into the middle. Like, I, I really want to try out what the gun and the, the armor on this thing is like. Um... I'm gonna go in with AP first, and I think we're not gonna go very far with AP. Uh, 255 millimeters of, of penetration is not going to be. It's not going to be good enough. Let's see if we can smack this Leo. Oh boy. Oof. Having eight seconds intra clip reload looks really weird. Yeah, try them out and, uh, you know, tell me tell me what you think. There's a VZ-55 over there on the left side. There's a Chieftain over here. Yes, it is It is turreted. Um, it is not a fixed gun. It is turreted, actually. This tank has a turret that can traverse about 40 degrees. Oh, oh boy. Um, oh, no. Uh, I picked the wrong loadout. I made a mistake. Um, 40 degrees to the left, 40 degrees to the right, so it's quite a lot, um, oh boy, turret does work quite nicely though, but we were actually penetrated on the turret by uh, one of these tanks, they're camping in the, in the middle. I think I'm gonna I'm going to reload real quick because the reload time is like really short, but the intra clip reload is like really long. Um so like okay, we just got penned by the VZ again. And he actually hit our top spot right there. Did not expect that. That was a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> There's a shit ton of vehicles sitting at the back <laughs> that are aiming right at us. But I think we can basically just keep them fixated in this place to let our guys on um, the other side over there help us out here. I'm going to try to see if this tank actually can do anything with gun depression. No, it has a lot of armor. This tank... Oh, we have a chieftain to the right... Uh, to the left. Turning my turret. My driver is dead. I picked the wrong equipment piece. Um, no equipment. Consumable. 
didn't want to get the fire extinguisher, but I went for fire extinguisher instead of instead of the med kit. God damn. Let's see what we can do here. We have ten degrees of gun depression, I think. It'd be really nice if they could shoot him, but I think he's right in a spot where it's almost impossible to shoot him. So we're just kind of facing off. Maybe if I can use a rock. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Can I move? Like, can I actually get an angle on his turret? <laughs> God. This is such a weird experience. Oh, actually, we can push him. Okay, we get him out of the game. But we die. Okay, that would have... Would have been nice if we managed to kill him without dying. Like, it has, like, 10 degrees of gun depression, um, which is really nice. But, like, the turret is really at the front, which is really awkward. That you have, like, you have great gun depression, and it just, it goes, it just keeps on going down, you know? You'd expect it wouldn't work out, but I, I think it's, it's quite interesting. Um, 10 degrees of gun depression is, you know, it's, it's quite great to have um but yeah <laughs> you can see that my platoon mate is uh he's doing a lot better with his than i did with mine but i think it's still it's fine the eight seconds of gun um of reload during the firefight is just kind of awkward but it isn't as bad as i imagined it at first um because this thing really does hit like a truck. And it's basically like uh, you have a like a Object 277 or a VZ-55 that just has like five shots. But it has a very long reload time. Like between the shots. But at the same time has like way better protection at the front um, than the VZ-55. Oh yeah, um, I missed I missed the last two arcade modes because I wasn't around and I didn't have the time. Um, but I really want to see what they do with the arcade mode because I think the arcade cabinet has been it has been a very interesting like experience to see what wargaming can think of and where they can just try out things and some of them are, are really fun, you know. Like the, I think the first iteration of the arcade mode was a lot of fun. But I, I've heard that the second iteration with the random rolls was actually quite a chaos because a majority of the player base was really upset that you get hit for 900 experience by a defender um, while you basically do 250 with your 750 alpha damage gun. <laughs> and I think a lot of players kind of lost their interest in that one. But um, I think the arcade cabinet is a very cool thing to try out things immediately in the game where people don't have to download a test server or anything and they can just basically go through it and not have to worry about um, downloading some additional version of the game and you can just you know you can just um, experience it fully in the game <laughs> yeah that, like i think the first iteration was the game where everyone has like really really good stats for you know the um the dispersion values basically there was no um dispersion i saw the face hugging and it was pretty disgusting like <laughs> the face hugging the face hugging was pretty disgusting the other guy was like what where do i shoot what do i do um and I mean, this tank has 10 degrees of gun depression. It should still be able to hit the upper plate with uh, premium shells. Or is it not able to, to penetrate the upper plate with premium shells? But uh, I, th I think we, we have to try it out again. But maybe, maybe uh, afterwards, because I want to try out the tier 6 tank. It can pen the upper plate? That's so weird. Eight SPGs and four mediums? Like, what? Do you... 
<laughs> Do you want to play like the World of Tanks of 2012 or 2011? That's when I was playing uh, the... <laughs> I still remember the games where I was playing the E5 and there were like eight artillery pieces on both sides and it was disgusting. That was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. You just kind of... You're trying to... Um, you're trying to hide from 10 artillery pieces that are just trying to kill you. But it could be fun uh, in a in a limited kind of sense. Could be fun. So, the upper plate on this tank is so thick you cannot penetrate it with the heat shells that you have. 345 millimeters is not good enough for the upper plate on the vehicle. Oh my god. That's really bad. You know what? Um, I'm gonna ready up. Let's let's do this again. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Give me give me one second. <laughs> I need to I need to switch something. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I almost like I was just driving around with a dead driver, and it was no fun. Uh, <laughs> but let's see what else can we do here. I think that that should be fine. Oh, let's see. You know, it's very refreshing to see the reload time being really low, but the intraclip reload being really high. It's it's kind of a weird uh, feeling because you don't expect it to, to be this way. You always expect it to be the other way around. Um, and it's it's something that you have to kind of get used to because when you're driving somewhere... You could basically just reload real quick as an autoloader and like you would have pretty bad intra clip and that's where players need to have a lot more like they have to pay a lot more attention to your intra clip reload um, than your reload because they know you're going to reload really fast but your intra clip is going to be taking really long so if you're another light um, if not another tank that has like is also autoloader but has a really long reload time but a really fast intra clip they could basically be trying to clip you in one sitting while you're still reloading the second shell of the intraclip. So I do, I, there are a lot of different combinations that come together that could make it really interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm uh, I'm not really sure if we're, if we're going to be able to do it, but I'm going to go move to F4. Do you know, like the, the other side where you can be really aggressive and you can move on over or you want to go to the G1, G2 area? The issue is we're not fast enough for F4, I think. But we might just survive if we stick to the to the buildings. I'm gonna load full high explosive anti-tank. And I'm just gonna see if I can if I can go into that spot. Uh, that's the EBR already. I'm not even gonna bother with the EBR. Is this uh, eyes four out? Oh, have you have you have you been perma tracked? It's really weird to only have. A gun arc that goes like 40 degrees to the left and the right. This is not looking good. There's a Yak Panzer E100 somewhere along here. Let me see if I can put some pressure on the IS-4. Uh. Take your gun away. Oh, the reload is really... The intro clip reloads. <laughs> it's so long. Oh, no. I want to stay here. Oh, But the turret is really, really sturdy. As you can see, this Kranwagen has a really tough time going through us. And we were able to, to stay out here. 
tank quite a bit of shots. I'll I'll take a look after the game. I was kind of confused. I first thought maybe you <laughs> maybe you lost your connection, but then I saw that you're still fired. But then I thought like we're on the test server. He's probably trying out to see how much damage he can farm um, by getting hit and see how much damage he'll block. But uh, it's, it's it's going to be quite high, I guess. I assume it's going to be very very high number. Now it's it's really weird to not be able to really um, shoot at the. Oh god, I can't even shoot at them. It's really weird not to be able to shoot at tanks that are right in front of you, because uh, you don't have the the arc to go to the right and the the left. I know that the um, the gorilla, for example, has a similar kind of thing, but I don't play the gorilla often, so. <laughs> It's something I have to get used to. But having 10... Oh, come on. 10 degrees of gun depression. No, no, no. No, no. Keep on my upper plate. Okay, now I'm just gonna... Stay in front of him. Hopefully lure him into shooting my... Upper plate again. I don't want to expose myself too much. Over here. Go out too far. There's a VZ. Yeah, I just spotted the VZ. Oh no, there's another fellow over here, it's quite annoying, oh god, yeah I went into a position that was too aggressive where I wasn't really going to be able to do a lot of anything, but I, I really want to see, <laughs> I want to see the damage that you've blocked with that tank. It's it's a weird vehicle so far. I don't really know like what I'm really supposed to be doing immediately with the the Minotauro. Um I hope that it gets better when you play through the tier 7, the tier 8, the tier 9 and the tier 10. Like when you get to the Minotauro, you will finally be able to understand what you're supposed to be doing with the Italian tank destroyers because they have a very long intra clip reload. You want to be up in your enemy's faces, but you do not want to be alone. You don't want to be, like, fighting against several vehicles from several sides. Because that's when you're going to be losing a lot of your HP. Um, you could be, like, using it as a more defensive-minded vehicle in a position where you can just keep an entire sector hold. Like, uh, keep an entire sector um, completely... By your own? Like, does that make sense? To to hold out a sector or defend a sector? Because you can hold a place with just being hauled down and... Um, yeah, like, oh yeah, obviously, when you're playing on a test server, everything is going to be really, really weird. Things are not going to work out the way they usually do. But I think it's it's quite interesting. So let's see what what how much damage did you block with your tank? Because I can imagine. Oh, that is a pretty big amount of damage blocked by just sitting out in the open. Twenty six hits received. You only were penetrated three times. You were only penetrated three times. What the hell? So eighteen non penning shots. But your tank has 2,100 HP. So what killed you? Like, who killed you? Three shots. That must have been like some really, like something really nasty. Like a Jagdpanzer U100 or a Gorilla 15. Something with a lot of pen. Something with a lot of um, damage as well. Very high alpha. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, it's probably more of a supporting kind of act. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, would you be up for a <laughs> for a tier six high explosive monster? <laughs> oh, so it was high explosive in the end that killed you. Because I was kind of confused. How 
who will who will be able to kill you with AP shells when you have like that amount of that amount of armor at the front. Oh my god. Yeah, take your time. It's alright. I'm just gonna check some things real fast. Hmm. I think it's a rather expensive line. In terms of the modules you have to buy, I think the Italian tank destroyers are quite expensive. But in terms of experience you need for the single tanks, I don't think that the line is that expensive in um, experience terms. Like, if it doesn't make sense, the equipment or the modules are really expensive, but the vehicle itself, like, to get to the next tank is not as expensive as other tech tree lines and I think that is quite that is quite interesting um, because usually I think the new tanks it's it hasn't been like this um, for the newer vehicles that have been added to the game um, the, the CS 59 like the amount of you know different uh, equipment you have I think it keeps in line Hmm. What well, what's up with the test server camera? I don't I don't really know um what has happened. <laughs> I think the camera is still the same as or the the camera angle and view has been the same. I don't think they've changed anything on my part. Do you have like a weird bug? Because I remember Wargaming, they do like to add weird bugs into the um, into into the newer versions of the game. Like the the last bug I I encountered was that the uh, the different symbols and emblems you have on a tank they kind of just started uh, flickering and. I think they, they fixed it like one or two days after it occurred. It could be that we n we will not find a game at tier 6. Because there are not a lot, a lot of players on the test server right now. And I don't think anyone is playing low tiers. I think we're just gonna wait around until the minute two or two minute mark and then I think we can just jump out and try out I'm not sure try out the tier nine try out the tier eight I would really like to see the tier eight premium that's the thing I would like to to try out it could be that the camera is weirdly positioned because the the gun itself or the turret on the vehicle is so far at the front, do you know? Like, it could be the weird distortion of perspective because the camera is usually positioned, like, behind the tank and you'll see the turret, but the turret is so far at the front that it looks, like, really weird. <laughs> but, yeah. You know what? Uh, I don't think I don't think it's it's going to work um, with the tier six, but we could try out. Can we try out the DPM of this thing in a um, in a test, like in a um, training room? Because I I want to see um, I want to see what this thing is capable of uh, with with its just its. Uh, Just let's let's go for Himmelsdorf. Well, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open a, uh, a test server room real quick. And I'm gonna invite you. 
the thing is, I... Wait. Um, let me see real fast. I'm gonna pick a vehicle. Let's see. A tier 6. <laughs> I, ha I have the perfect tank for this. I want to see what what it what, what it will feel like. Okay, go to town. Let's let's see how quickly you erase my vehicle. <laughs> how quickly you erase my talk too. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this is going to be a kind of a a fight that will happen in the game in the near future. And you have four and a half thousand DPM. <laughs> I'm driving a talk too. Nobody can miss a talk too. So. <laughs> This is, um, this is pretty crazy. It looks like a sausage. I love no, it's like a huge sandwich. I completely forgot that I had like the talk to sandwich, but I, I explicitly bought it for a lot of credits when it was, uh, I think in one of the, um, oh no, it's a hot dog, right? Yeah, of course it's a hot dog. That's oh, so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to come to the middle. Um, I want to see, like, can you fire down the, uh, the alley? I want to see how long it takes for a shot to travel right through it. I just want to see, like, 400 meters per second shell velocity. That's got to be, like, one of the worst things. <laughs> you hit, like, the, <laughs> the fountain in the middle. <laughs> oh, the accuracy must be horrendous. Like, something about the tank must be bad if you have four and a half thousand... Like DPM. Boy. It's so slow. <laughs> but it's like, it's not even that slow, you know? It seems to be quite fast. Oh boy, <laughs> oh my god, you just did 472 damage with single shots. <laughs> oh my god, no, this sucks. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Let's see if I can actually hit you. Oh no, I can't. Oh no. Okay, how long, how long will it take you to kill me? God, this is a this is a tier six tank, you know. Oh boy, thousand seven hundred twenty elf uh, HP, and it took you about twelve seconds to finish us off. I think this tank, you know, the the Basotto with the premium heat shells is also going to be quite a, an, an issue for um tier 7 tanks and tier 8 tanks when i imagine some tier 7 heavy tanks rolling around like <laughs> maybe for example the the t29 or something like that and you just you just smash him for 420 damage with the high uh, the high explosive anti-tank ammunition it's gonna be uh it's going to be pretty horrendous. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Oh, you know what? While we're in the test server, maybe we can just try out the um the armor on the, the tier 10. See what the armor on the tier 10 is really like. Um and I think that could be that could be quite educational. Um Welcome to the live stream, Arne Meyer. <laughs> yeah, you could basically do like a, a high explosive race with the VK. Um, it would be quite interesting. <sighs> let's let's see. The tier seven Italian TD is strong. Yeah, I, I imagine it to be quite strong because of the armor, and I think it could be like one of those tanks that just you know pops up in the game quite often because. 
I think players love either to be really mobile or to have like massive amounts of armor where they just kind of completely like can't stay in front of you and you can't scratch them at all. And I think the tier 7, like, oh, that's, that's pretty crazy. So, I think if you look at the angles that you have, like, um, it looks, it looks pretty damn impressive. Like, there are not a lot of spaces you can actually go through. Um, I want to try out one, I want to try out one place real quick. And I want to try to see if your cupola on top actually is... Is that a weak spot? Like the cupola that we have right there, it says it's green, so we can, like this cupola right there. There's actually that's that's just main armor. You cannot go through. That's like almost impossible, right? Like that area right there. Um, this area up front. Oh, oh, we actually hit like your your cupola on on top, like the one right behind here. So there is actually nothing here. Okay, so that's quite interesting. So you can actually just hit the cupola back there. And when you're side when you're face hugging, you don't have the gum depression to shoot down into the hall. Oh my god. That's wow. What so okay, shoot me. Like if if we're face hugging, what would you do? Like which places can you actually go through when we're face hugging? Like where 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 can you actually do damage? Um, okay, so that was the spot that I shot prior. Can you still hit that? No, actually, I think I hit the turret first. Wait, can can you hit that when I when I raise my gun a little bit, like like that? Uh, well, I have to turn it like over here so you don't really see it. Oh yeah, I can talk a game to tell you. Uh, so you oh. can hit it straight on, but. Uh, Oh fuck! I hear myself in stream. Uh, it's fucking. Me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. I had to meet this here. Uh, you can hit it straight on, right? But like normally, people are moving shit, moves the tank, so it's really hard to hit. Uh, and then like you see what I'm doing here. I'm using the other cupola to block it. I'm being fat with it, pretty much. Or you could do this side. Wait. Okay, you can you can hear me now. Okay, <laughs> I just figured out oh, yeah. the voice shed option. Okay. <laughs> So, like, the cupola on the right side, that's basically a no-go with AP, right? So yeah, nothing is yeah, going to be going through not there. Even, not even heat. It's, like, almost 400 armor. Like on It the looks like such a bait. Heat, it's think. such bait. Look at it. Like, I mean, you would expect it to be like, yeah, uh, if you load heat, you might be able to go through it. But it's like, they're just baiting you with it. Then you have the machine gun at the back, where, which also is... Oh, no. It's actually not on the little platform. But on the Tier 9... The machine gun is on a little platform where I was trying to shoot it once and it, it just doesn't work because it doesn't exist in the game as a yeah. uh, as a part. Also, look at our yeah. lower plate when we're this close. It's orange. Oh <laughs> it's my such God. a fate even when you're close. If you back up, actually, when it gets green, you'll notice that the middle is pinnable, right? But if you notice, the sides are actually angled. So the yeah. sides of the lower plate are baits too for uh, normal standard. It's uh, almost like the E5 and uh, the E3 where you can only really shoot in the middle and you have to look exactly if you're like in the middle and not too far at the at the top or not too far at the bottom. And that's exactly, exactly. when players, when they move forward or backwards, that's where you kind of bounce those places because... The armor uh, in the middle is going to be the strongest, and the armor at the bottom is just going to be like this rounded that you don't have the the angle to go through, like because your shell just kind of it's like almost an auto ricochet, so it's like really weird. And this tank has like both; <laughs> it has like a crazy turret. But um, what is really nice to see, because the tank itself is it's not like the largest tank, like the tallest. Um, vehicle it's it's still tall enough i think but you can actually hit the cupola on top that is behind that um that little viewport that you have there so you can uh but the only problem is what happens is if you come over here and uh so it won't be 
exactly the right hill, but we'll we'll pretend it's one of those hills where it protects my lower plate, right? It becomes a lot more difficult to shoot my cupola when I'm using depression. Well, it's it's basically impossible. Yeah. Because, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't see it um, because at the front there's also this little cupola or the viewport. Um, yeah, no, you really have like... to be on the same level. Yeah. So it's like you really so like you know those hill spots where you can like cover your lower plate and peek out and use yeah. your depression it's like you can't do anything against this at all there's uh, just but wait. no point in pushing it uh, uh, maybe i found something <laughs> you can actually just uh shoot right through the track and do damage when he's right in front of you uh, i'm yeah, not sure the, if it's maybe because of up, the elevation and, yeah it's the elevation so up underneath the tracks it's the armor underneath right yeah it was actually uh... stick out very slightly okay so that's that's good to know that when the tank is on uh, on elevation you can just shoot through the tracks and you're going to be able to hit the the chassis of the vehicle itself so it's even if he's just a small target wait try try like if i if i go up here just try to shoot like through the track i think it's it's going to be a place that you can easily go for like every single time because like the oh, hull yeah, is quite long. Be with this gun. So if I just yeah, drive forwards and backwards, pretty decent. I guess with standard rounds, yeah, you're right. With heat, it's heat, a lot you can more forget it. But yeah, because <laughs> of the track. So yeah, basically the the meta on this tank is uh, AP. <laughs> no, um, I mean the heat shells are impressive. Um, the shell velocity, something I haven't seen on a heat shell that travels a thousand two hundred fifty six meters per second. That's yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's like wow. this makes me. You know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of the E four when it wasn't nerfed. Do you remember like yeah. old days when it had armor? Yes. <laughs> it's really weird. Like the balancing, the balance. Like this is such a it's such a weird concept as well, but I think it's quite neat to see that wargaming is trying out different things with the reverse kind of uh, reload time is really really fast, but the intra clip reload is like really slow. Um, you have to kind of kind of kind of get used to it because usually it's always the other way around, and you expect to have like that DPM advantage or just uh, the advantage with that one single clip. When you're close to enemy but now it's like well if you're close to them and you fire one shot they know that you're going to be on the reload for eight seconds and they can really kind of abuse that um because like if they start going around you uh you're gonna have a really bad time with this tank i think because the turret well, is yeah, like the, yeah definitely that's why you gotta kind of protect yourself still uh like for me i'm i'm completely used to because i play like the ashton rex a lot it's one of my things I'm yeah, kind of used to that long. It's nice. I, I like to think of it as like a built-in gun rammer that makes your tank faster than the average tank with alpha, right? But because of that, you kind of have a bit of a downtime, which is like a reload. And then the thing about this tank compared to other tanks like the Ashen is your clip damage is just so fucking huge that you don't like really need to worry about like being able to kill someone. And having to reload you know what i mean like you'll most likely kill anyone who comes around the corner before you have to reload yeah the, the thing is just like it takes a while <laughs> to kill him <laughs> it takes like you know it, it's <laughs> the eight seconds i still cannot wrap my head so, my head around it yeah, because like, um... like you're gonna be sitting there you're gonna be shooting him then you're gonna be waiting then you're gonna be shooting him like if you bounce one of those shots in like with your clip it will feel so painful because you're you're like eight you're like waiting it 16 does. seconds kind of but at the same time it's like you got 530 and five shells and when you shoot right like what i do when i shoot in the meantime is i try to face hug and stuff i try to get him to bounce got that time and then uh thing with it too right it's for the most part if you compare it to like the seven, uh, the seven eighty, like the object seven eighty has five thirty, and if you fully upgrade that, you can get to like ten point seventy four yeah. second reload. So having an eight second reload is pretty nice. It's like the E one hundred reload almost. Yeah. 
I actually I actually enjoyed the 780. Um, I I played quite a few games in it, and like uh, <laughs> the only thing it's I noticed there. is that the thing just burns up so fast. In one game, um, I was set on fire three times in one game, and it was ooh. crazy. It just didn't stop burning. So what I run on the 780, like this might help you out a little bit, right? Is uh, auto extinguisher, right? Yeah, and then <laughs> also. I don't run a med kit because I notice like your crew never dies in that. So I run food where. So you have the. the... Oh, I thought you would run like an additional extinguisher as well, like the other one, the uh, the normal. I mean, I totally would, but I haven't been that unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had it just in one game where it, it felt like really weird. Uh, the first shot goes through. I get set on fire. I'm like, okay, shit happens. I have the automatic fire extinguisher for that. Second shot, when I go back to base, I defend it. I get set on fire. And I'm just like, yeah, I still have like 90 seconds have passed. I can use the other fire extinguisher. Just have to pay like 40k instead of 20k. And then the final shot where I have to reset the base cap, I get like, I only had like four or 500 HP remaining. So any shot would basically kill me. Um, but he shoots me, he does, I think, about 390 damage, leaves me on 50 HP or something like that. But he sets me on fire just to add insult to injury, you know? And I burned down <laughs> just, like, for two seconds. But it was like the game was telling me, yeah, you're going to get on, set on fire in this game and we don't I, give a fuck. I feel that. I had my auto exchange down one time and I was, like, on 7k, right? Like, it was a great game. And dude shoots me, lights me on fire, takes my whole hit points away, and I die. I was crying. Yeah, I mean, that's just World Tanks, I think. <laughs> At least, um, you know, that that kind of sticks with you. It's kind of funny, okay. like a couple of yeah. months later. But you when know, you like, miss out on the Object 260 or something like that, it kind of sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I got it fast. Uh, my number actually and it's 381 my friend got 21 Pretty crazy. damn yeah fucking um the tier 8 by the way for this line like it's so crazy how much armor the lower tiers have right the tier 8 right 340 heat like heavy right uh the inner cheeks here on the tier 8 right imagine you're a tier 8 you could pen yeah. with a tier 10 heat but Anywhere else, like the outer cheek sides on the tier uh, eight, like is like a 40 50 percent chance. So you can actually bounce tier 10, and then if you angle the turret a little bit like that with it, too, it can fuck them over more. It's really funny. I think it's pretty crazy that uh, they've decided to go with that amount of armor. Um, because they are now kind of overworking a lot of things and they're balancing out like new tanks uh, or the old tanks. And I, I'm kind of really confused at <laughs> the new tanks. Like I've seen that they almost have no real weak spots on top of their tanks. Um, I was really happy to see that there's a cupola on this one, but it looked like really slim that you would not really have the opportunity to shoot it. Um, like in a face hook right now, I basically, I can't really see it. But when I shoot, like, for example, I try to hit it right now. Sometimes it plops up and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, when you completely are still, it's quite easy to hit. But, yeah, if you're face-hugging someone, it's going to be quite difficult. Well, yeah, you know, that was something else I was saying in chat uh, with these tanks that I noticed. Because the turrets are so frontwards instead of in the middle of the tank. When yeah. you move right like this and your tank bounces, right, your, your gun moves so much and your turret moves so much vertically like it is a lot like you can give yourself like 12 degrees of gun depression by doing I this like, i've that, done that to people i noticed that when i was on the hill when we were fighting the first game uh i was i was just kind of uh trying to aim at the vz55 but i didn't get the gun depression so i moved a little bit forward and was like wait a minute why can i hit the cupola all of a the sudden then i stop moving and the gun goes up and i'm like Oh, of course, because of the um, <laughs> the, the gun's placement and the turret, um, when you are yeah. moving forward, it's just gonna like bounce up and down. A hey, uh, face uh, hugger takes takes all. We're both yeah. one shot. 
It's going to be it's going to be pretty terrible when this thing goes into life uh, into the life server. I went right through your gun mantlet when you angled it a little bit to the left. There was like a, a space you could hit it immediately, and it was like a 50-50, I think. Yeah. I think on the top side of the gun, there's like a little space to that. It's like the slimmest thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> Zigzag wants to join the platoon. Now, I'm, I'm maximum going to be live streaming for another maybe 40 minutes to an hour. Um, but like, if you want to join, we can try out some of the vehicles in the, um, in the training room. We can try out all of the tier seven, the tier seven, the tier eight, the tier nine and the tier 10. And we can just see what they're all like. And with the different configuration, um, you can, you can join the, uh, the training room if you're interested in that. Uh, but I don't think, um, wait, I'm going to try to. Invite a tactical unit here. Like, um, we can just try, try around and see, see what it's like. We can also go to different maps. Like, uh, we can see some of the different maps. Zigzag, what, what is your, what is your name in game, Zigzag? I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for you. Or just just add uh, just add me in uh, in World of Tanks when you're in there. It's probably gonna be easier to find my name. It's just uh, Tiger Tank One underscore Two. Oh wait, okay, <laughs> me and the boys. Okay, me and the boys. Search outside. Um, I'm gonna invite you to tax your unit. I'm gonna um, take the tier nine real fast. I'm gonna see what the tier nine is like. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. I don't have anything on the tier nine, but let's go switch it around. Uh, I will have to transfer the crew real fast. Yeah, talk talk away. Um, I didn't know that no. World of Tanks had a voice chat. <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> I haven't been playing in platoons in a very long time. A very long time. Uh, no. Oh, Tiger, when, when you put your crew in the other tank, if you go to the top left where you use crew books, you can hit retrain and 100% gold to make it faster. What? what? Like, what can you do? You can go to the, uh, you can go to crew books? Wait, what? Wait, is this working? Can you hear me? So take, take your crew, right? Put them in the tank, right? Yeah, we can hear you. One second. Yeah, no, this yeah. is also news to me. I, I didn't know that you could do this. Okay, wait. So, what tank should I pick? And then when you click that button in the top left where the crew is, right, you'll see the retrain button and click that. Retrain crew. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh you can you can pick whatever tank you want to pick. Um I'm just gonna try to see what this tier nine is like, but if you want to play a T30 or whatever, just go in here. I think the stream anyway, <laughs> it's not uh 
<laughs> this is not uh, very s scripted. I think if you have watched any of my videos, they're not very scripted. So just pick okay, whatever okay. you want to pick. All right, I'm, I'm okay. going to use the tier eight. I'm going to see how it is. What I, I think do you, do you reckon I should use? In just a second, I will pick another tier nine. Do it. Take your time. Actually, the... no, he's going to grab the tier eight. I'll grab the tier seven then, so we can just Ooh. have all of them in game. Oh, that would be really nice. Yeah, honestly, improved aiming vents with the field mods, I think, is the way to go on all the tanks because it gets you down to like 34 dispersion on all of them, which I think is a very like nice number to be at for dispersion. It's not crazy, but it's not bad. It's humane. Right. And then for the last slot, since you can't have rammer, you might as well have a turbo on these to help them out because they kind of need it. Yeah, they're... To be fair, I don't even think they're that slow. Like, um, I, I'm not sure, but when I look at like 15 horsepower per ton, I always think like that specific power to weight ratio it doesn't seem to be that fast, but it actually isn't that slow because, well, um, uh, ever that's since because they have really good, uh, soft or not soft, uh, hard and medium terrain resistances. So, like, normally tanks that you'd see, like, with um this kind of horsepower and all that are like heavy tanks that have terrible hard or medium green uh terrain resistances to balance them yeah it's it's really weird that um somehow like like the, it's also the same kind of way that wargaming deals with like the heavy tanks like the super heavy tanks that um when they are playing them by themselves, they have to have decent view range because if they don't have decent view range, they're just going to be outspotted all the time. But you have like a super heavy tank with like 400 meters base view range and you're just thinking like, what the hell? <laughs> Why even play a light tank? Because the super heavy is like 400 meters base view range. But if he doesn't have the view range, he's just going to be like farmed by everyone because he can't see anything. Yeah, exactly. You make me think about, uh, <laughs> do you know the funny IS-7 speed build? We have like oh. twenty three horsepower per ton can go seventy yeah. kilometers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the famous bush map with that whole bush line, I'll just drive straight down it and spot everyone because I'm moving so fast and no one expects it. <laughs> oh yeah, there there are some really really dumb builds, but also some really funny builds. Um, the thing is, like, I when when the equipment 2.0 came to the live server, I didn't really, I was not around. I played a little bit of World Tanks, like, um, just uh, on the off time, like because I wasn't really that invested in World of Tanks anymore. But then equipment 2.0 came around, and you had to kind of invest time to check everything out. I just didn't do that. I ignored everything, and I was still running around with the old equipment, you know, with gun rammer and stuff. Uh, because gun rammer was something you would always put on every tank because it was the only equipment piece that kind of helped you out back in the days. And I had like 40 or 50 gun rammers, all, um, not gun rammers, but uh, gun lane drives lying around in all of my tanks. And then like when I made videos on, <laughs> on tanks and I was reviewing stuff, I didn't review like the equipment. People are always like, what the hell are you doing with your gun lane drives? I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> gun lane drives, it's great. You don't have like the, the bad aim time. And uh, I got roasted for it every single video. So, <laughs> so I actually had to take time and to look into the, the equipment to to make sense of some of the stuff, but I actually didn't really want to do that. So now I just kind of run. Um, I always go for like kind of the same setup for, for myself, um, but <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm still anxious for all of the people who are roasting me on in, in the in the comments. <laughs> I've got my tank ready. Nice. 
You just have to put it in in ready or uh, like hit ready, I think. Yeah, you just need to hit ready. Oh, sorry, I, I, haven't, I haven't used team training rooms before. Where's the ready button? You, you got it. You got it. You're in. <laughs> Wait, does that tag oh, yeah, not have go. a symbol? Yeah, it's like weird. I don't. I don't think they have a finish symbol for it. This is this is the destroyed symbol for Clan Wars back in the days. I remember that. Hi everyone. I've never played Clan Wars, so. Oh yeah, Where you're not I? missing out on a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm a relatively new player. My highest tank is a Ferdinand, and that's. It's, oh, not bad. It's interesting. Bad. Um, Although, do you want to see? What, on what... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, do you want to see a, a map with some changes? Like, do you want to see the changes they've made to some maps? Or do you want to just be on Himmelsdorf and try out some I mean, things? sure. Uh, do the, do the, um, oh, what, I forget the name, but you know, they changed that valley area where there's that hill only one team could go up and the other couldn't. They changed that. <laughs> Wait, that's like that's like half of the maps in World of Tanks, <laughs> where uh, you could only go up as one team. But I know what you mean. There was one build, map yeah. that was really bad uh, for the one side. Um, I'm I'm checking. I know that Glacier has changed completely. Now you have some cover when you're crossing. Um, Wait, is Glacier the one with the? Is Glacier the one with the giant like ice thing that you can climb up? Yes, yes. With yeah. the that's the oh, aircraft oh, carrier. No, not that one. <laughs> that's uh, that's a map where I got my only decent game on my Ferdinand. They got like it was like seven k damage. That's my highest game ever, my best game ever. It's not bad, not bad. It's nice in a Ferdinand seven k nowadays with all the gold spam. Enemies must have been blind, or uh, <laughs> you you must have had a really good position. The front arm is decent. It's just the rest of it, and it's. It, it'd be faster to walk. That's the problem. <laughs> Wait, which map was that where they changed the hill? I know exactly what you mean, but I don't know which map it was exactly. They changed one where you have had like access to a hill, uh, and it was uh, it was very one sided, and they finally addressed it. Um, they they changed Sand River now that you have some cover to cross over to the other side I think as well. Ah, uh, one second. I'll, I'll check real fast the uh, the website. I know exactly where it is. Is it Redshire? Was it Redshire? Somebody just commented Redshire. The clans in this like test build are kind of weird. Oh yeah, it's uh nothing is kind of correct. The the clans are not um shown off. Um, in, is it in just like randomly set you to one? Um, no, I think it's just it's just really. I'm not sure. It's it's like random clans that don't exist. <laughs> um, so it's not correct. Fair enough. I think I found the map. Thanks, thanks, thanks for pointing it out. I think it was Redshire because you could always cross without cover um, from the one side, but the other side you could not cross because you needed to have some cover and they finally added the cover in. Uh, so I, I figured like... out what it was, it's Lakeville. Oh, it's Lakeville. Oh, you mean the valley. That you can finally climb up on the other side as well. Not just the yeah. one team that can go up to that one rock up there. I forgot to and turn the music off. And they it so it's lower. I was just deafened for about 20 seconds. I forgot to turn the music off. Yeah, it's oh, always Tiger. when you reinstall. I never, I never realized how good looking the SD client was. Because I've always played the HD one, but it literally makes like no difference. I'm just heading straight to you guys' base. I wanted to I wanted to check out the uh, the C9 and C uh, D9 area because they now actually raise the hill up, so you now should oh, be yeah, able yeah. to cross over without getting shot at. But you Bro, don't know I... it's it's war gaming. It could be like they raise the hill up like just a little bit, and you can still hit them in like one spot exactly <laughs> and it could ruin like the entire game balance again 
No, I think they I think they fixed it fully because I remember trying to shoot someone from that, like from there, and the only person I could barely hit their cupola was the Amex uh, French heavies. Oh, did you try so it out? Tall. Yeah. The 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 new the um the new and improved AMLE, MLE the tier ten is oh, it yeah, now really yeah, yeah. much better? Uh, I would say so. Yeah, because the main thing that would screw it over in the tier nine is the side armor being auto pens. Yeah. Wait, can you wait one second? I'm coming down here. Um. Can you shoot like the viewports or not not no, the viewports? No, but... Um the uh you know the uh what do you call the rangefinders on the side because on tanks GG they were actually like uh penable, but I'm not sure if you can go through. You can't shoot them. Okay, that's a little bit more to the Just right. a second, just a second. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. That's with AP, right? Uh, yeah. Ooh. That's interesting to see. So, two, what about two, the other two side? 258. <laughs> 258. 258. Uh, penetration. Okay, it looks like it's a pretty easy place to hit. Uh, with this tank, like it looks pretty. No, uh, no, 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 no. If you will move, no, it's kind of impossible. Yeah, okay, okay, it okay. is. Yeah, really, real. Unless you you will go uh, from the side, from the side, it it will be easier to hit it. Okay, what if I hide behind this rock and I peek you? Can you actually hit them? Just move forwards and backwards. Oh yeah, okay, I, I get it. It must be... <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not as easy as I thought. So if I... Like if I fire you... Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I am sniper. You're a sniper, um, right? I mean, I you have that. the beef. You have the stock turret on that tier 8. Yeah, it's the stock turret. Yeah, exactly. Wait, can we actually pen the stock turret on it? Yeah, it's not that hard. Oh yeah, but it's you like can pen it. Oh shit! Oh yeah, you just reminded me. I I bought the tank. And I forgot to. Oh, I forgot. To... Hey, tiger! Try to try to look at my turret. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. Load heat. Load heat. <laughs> you see. Now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try heat. something. Okay, it works. If you go through the. You can easily pen the side of the yeah, yeah. look. Without uh, any problem. Oh yeah, because he's using the default turret or the stock. It's the turret, stock. I mean. It's the stock turret. I'm, I'm testing it out for the people that can't be asked to grind. I can so even this is... block your heat with my turret cheeks, coke. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try it. This is so weird. This is the first time I actually like played with <laughs> with any. People who have subscribed to my channel. This is so weird. Get used to it. Uh, <laughs> right. The no. the default turret has awful penetration. That's and well, I mean the, the default turret, the default gun has awful penetration. Yeah, it's like it's one seventy five, right? It's like one seventy five, and the APCR is maybe two one two. Oh yeah, that's. Is that the stock? No, that's the fully upgraded turret it's, on the tier the, seven, right? Yeah, it's the upgraded. <laughs> that's the stock. Pretty... Uh, one's cheeks can't too because they're so angled. <laughs> oh, that's pretty impressive for tier seven. Right. That's pretty impressive. Oof. Um, the viewports that you have, or the rangefinders on the side, they also are kind of like pretty suspect. You think you look at them and you might be thinking, yeah, maybe I can hit it, but they're just not real models. Yeah. When you shoot, the, if you shoot this off a my wood, which of these, there are like two hatches on the top. Are they both weak spots or is there only one of them? 
they're both weak spots on the D on the stock that, turret. That's why the stock turret's bad that too. That kind of sucks. Wait, look, uh, there is no uh, damage indicator when, when I'm trying to... We're, we're on the same team. Look, That's look why. in... Oh. Yeah, I'm stupid, sorry. <laughs> Be, before you shoot me, Ben, we're on the same team. That's why. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. I can still kill him. Yeah, I, I miss friendly fire. I, I miss team damage in World of Tanks. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't want... <laughs> Miss Can you still track your teammates? Uh, yeah. Track? Well, I think in the right here you can still track and damage, but like in the in the client, Ooh. unfortunately. What are you no gonna do? Works. Yep, you Look can. My turn. <laughs> so how long have you been playing World of Tanks now? For like, did you just start a year or two ago? I, I played quite a bit, but I mean. I I've played since World of Tanks was started. <laughs> played for a yeah, long you're, time. You're I've also like a when lost I was like soul. 10. Well, I just said a whole massive paragraph, but I forgot to press the uh, voice button. Because <laughs> it's normally V on all, all, my, all the other games, but for some reason it's Q on this. So. It's because uh, it used to be Q on TeamSpeak. I think that's where they got it from. Oh... Uh... I should probably get the actual upgraded gun and um, turret on there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, I want to try out the high explosive shells on this thing. Uh, it has 120 millimeters of penetration. 127 to be exact. I think that's going to be really gnarly uh, against like any lightly armored tanks. Like, just imagine a boar stick somewhere. <laughs> this thing comes right. around the corner. <laughs> that's going to be so disgusting. I don't really yeah, use um, this has in the back. Hit me in the back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, oh my! That's pretty. That's pretty bad. Wait, Wait what, what? What is the middle alpha damage? Six hundred forty. Six hundred forty. So you can roll like almost nine hundred if it's it'll go up twenty five percent, right? Uh, or I'm wrong at math. No, eight hundred. Can uh, can go up to above eight hundred, a little bit yeah. more than eight hundred. But that's that's crazy already if you think about it. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, because one hundred and twenty-seven millimeters of penetration, when you know, like I can penetrate your sides with one hundred and twenty-seven millimeters. I think you can go right mm. through the side. Ooh, that's gonna be really. Yeah, yeah that's but gonna be really look, bad. Uh... You hit hit in, in uh, right in the middle between those uh, tracks. Yeah. The, the, where is no 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 armor? Uh, uh, no 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 tracks. Sorry sorry sorry. Wait, wait. Either way, should I yeah, shoot I right in the middle with the tracks or a bit farther up? Little bit up upper. Like here. Between the tracks. Yeah, uh, yeah. right there. But if I shoot yeah, yeah, below yeah. it. There's like uh, below it, you can hit it and you can go right through. But if I hit that, oh yeah, oops, yeah, it bent. <laughs> um, you know, interesting difference between the tier eight premium and the tech trees. The they have the same alpha gun, right? But the tier eight only gets three shells, and the premium one gets a five. Ooh, wait, the premium You're one gets talking three about shells like extra. Yeah, it gets the five shells, like the tier 10. <laughs> That's disgusting. What? I didn't know that. I All thought right. it was just going to have, like, uh, I just thought the armor profile was better. Um, but actually, well, so it has better armor than the standard tier 8. It has more shells, but it has less premium ammunition penetration, right? Like, because it's APCR instead of heat. Because the tier 8 with its yeah, 120 yeah. has 300 millimeters of penetration with heat. And the... Yeah, the heat's better. The premium shell's better in the tier 8. Okay. Yeah, That's we trying to 1v1 to the death here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can try. I have one oh, shell loaded. Oh. <laughs> one shell. It's one high explosive shell, so... I, I have to make it work. 
what, maybe we should first kill uh, me and the boys because I think he's uh, he's he's in the menus like uh, switching around the uh, the modules right now. Yeah, I, I, I've got it done now. Just to wait till after the battle to you know actually like install them. I'm gonna reload now. I'm just gonna keep one shell. I'm gonna see. What I can do. Does the tier seven also have a load auto loader? Is it also auto loader? Or yeah, is yeah. It... It has an auto loader top gun. All the other guns are single fire guns though. Only the top yeah. guns an auto loader. But it's a ninety millimeter, right? Something along the lines of that. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I think it is a ninety mil. It might be a 105. I think it's a 90 mil. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Well, I really need to hit your lower player. <laughs> Something like that. I'm like, if I hit your, your turret with the high explosives, it's not going to do anything. Or it might actually go through the cupola. I'm not sure. How, how, how thick is your armor up top? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're thick enough. Ah, <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Ooh, what you gonna do now? The dance. Dance for me while you reload. <laughs> hey, don't hide down there where I can't pen you. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a swim. Oh boy. <gasps> oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a 127 millimeter gun which is uh like the i'm not sure the caliber is really weird like it doesn't make any sense 127 the uh the other one was a 102 millimeter i think so which could i put on this yes yeah, so the there's the 105 has 105 105, 56, 105, 58, 105, 73, and then 120, 59. You want the 120. 120 is. Yeah, the uh, the 120 is just. I think it it gives you the best. Um, just like a and most. Just a second. Hmm. And now you get to see the nice armor in the tier 8 turret. <laughs> <laughs> but it's are you of... excited about these tanks? Like, uh... Oh, I'm through the roof. When they announced them, I was so excited before even knowing anything for them. Just by the yeah. fact they said it was going to be like uh, the T95, which I love that tank, but faster. So I was like, fuck I mean... yeah. I mean, I'm never ever going to be able to research them, but hey ho. <laughs> might be, you might be able, but it's going to take a lot of time and, well, probably a lot of money as well. <laughs> well and then World of Tanks my favorite. is not very cheap. I'm, I'm free to play. I've, I've, I don't know. How, I've managed to get to tier eight free to play, and I don't know. No, I'm just further. Oh wow, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, Freedom play is pretty tough. <laughs> my condolences. It must be so hard. Like this game, must be so yeah. difficult to play free to play. And yeah, no, I've back to my texture. I'm free to play. I've got. I so I managed to get and the IS. My highest thanks to the SU one five two and IS and a Ferdinand and a Tiger P. But that's that, that's that's my free to play career. But that's pretty impressive. Oh, we, 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 we yeah. No. <laughs> I, by accident, I clicked on ready. <laughs> he just left the garage. I think my favorite thing moment. about the tech tree, honestly, so far, out of everything compared to other tech trees, is usually like the tier 8 or the tier 7, or, or all of them except for the tier 10, disappoint me in their performance or how they are. But all the tanks in, in this tech tree, I, I enjoy because they all have the same play style as the tier 10. Wait a sec, did you go into the game? Yeah, we we hit like the play battle when you were still in, uh, in the vehicle, but then you left real fast. But I'm going to drown myself so we can uh, we can restart it. 
<clears throat> and you crashed. Not drowned. Not fair. Well, it's like when you drive into the lake immediately, you immediately die. Like, this is new. I didn't know that. I, I thought I would still hit the ground, but I immediately died. Like, it said crashed and didn't even allow me to drown. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you are drowning and sometimes you are crashing. It's weird. What, no five seconds for you? Uh, nope. Just immediately died. Uh, go Valley. Wait, they changed uh, the town uh, part too, if I am not wrong, or, or wait, not? Uh, no, they changed the valley. I don't think they changed the town at all. The F F zero, I think, from this side, uh, from the uh, from my spawn. I don't know how to say correctly. We can Hold on a second. Look the, at it afterwards. the icon for the this tier eight is changed from the tank with an X in it to now have a question mark. Oh yeah. yeah. Um... Like, these are really the the signs you have in Clan Wars. Like, the question mark is when you don't know what kind of tank you're going up against. In Clan Wars, like, they, they always had, like, this mystery where you didn't know what you were going up against. But since they kind of have the Chieftain and everything in the game, it's always going to be Chieftains and Object 907s and all that stuff. But it used to be, like, I remember when I first started playing Clan Wars uh, 10 years ago, it used to be, like, whatever you had, the highest tier... And then people were running around in T-125s, and then you had, like, M10, uh, M109s, no, M103s running around as well. Um, and sometimes even premium tanks, because the players didn't have, like, Tier 9s and Tier 10s. And it was really fun, because Clan Wars was such a mess. <laughs> but now, I think, uh, every clan has really gotten, like, uh, professional and, like, really good Tier 10 tanks. And, yeah. It's it's become pretty stale, I think. At least hey, the last Tiger, time I checked still it. for one second. Look at me. I don't even see you. I didn't I'm see you. I only saw. Yeah. In in the bush. I can pen your cheeks. How's it feel? Yeah, you have three hundred <laughs> millimeters of penetration. Right? <laughs> I can't pen. Hold on a second. You can go through the lower plate right now, I think. I can at least hit the lower plate. But on the turret, ooh, that's a tough one. Now. Is, there's no chance. What about, uh, what about now? Through. The only place I can hit is the lower plate right there. I'm going to load uh, yeah. APCR just to see what I can do against your turret. Yeah, with, with AP on this too, the only place I can pen on your, on the, what was it? The tier 10 is the literal bottom. I think I'm hiding my lower plate now. Ow. I went right through the turret. Should I try it again with the turret? <laughs> you can go for it. Okay, so if you wiggle it around a little bit, it almost becomes impossible. Well, you can actually reliably hit the weak spot on the um, the Minotauro if he stays still. Like if if the Minotauro yep. starts moving, it's gonna be ooh, it's gonna be quite disgusting. The right side is basically a no go. You can forget the right side, but the left side left side works. I think the upper hall of this becomes auto ricochet when you use depression. Probably. So we'll get another tech tree line with more hull down vehicles. How do you feel about that? Uh, there's already enough hull down vehicles, so it's not really going to break the game balance. Because we yeah, let's like... let's not forget about the matchmaking of the maps. Uh, because, for example, when I 
when I am playing the heavy tanks, I am getting non-stop Malinovka, Prokhorovka, and I, when I am playing light tanks, I am getting town maps. So let's not forget about this when we are talking about the the whole down tanks. <laughs> <laughs> So you sense uh, conspiracy against you and your heavy tanks. <laughs> they always send you ah, into the, the open it's, maps. Yeah, it's just um, the, the 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 thing I, I am getting. Not 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 the conspiracy. <laughs> no, I I understand what you mean. I think matchmaking has been. They have changed matchmaking this patch as well. I think they reduced the amount of artilleries that we have, so it now should only be two artilleries maximum per game. Um, oh shit, sorry. And what I've noticed as well is that there is a certain map rotation. Uh, during a couple of weeks you get like one map a lot of times, you know, and other maps also. But other maps, they kind of disappear because I always get like, um, I always get... Uh, what is it called? Not Ruinberg, but uh, Prokhorovka. I always have called Prokhorovka. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm a medium tank, light tank, me uh, heavy tank, tank destroyer. I always have Prokhorovka and I have the, the Berlin map. I always have the Berlin map. I don't know why. I don't even like the Berlin map, but it's always in there. I just oh. realized the tier 8 has 120 HE pen. Yeah, I noticed. That's pretty oof. <laughs> It's getting kind of late for me. I'm going to head off, but Jesus Christ. Did it, did it, did... Right. Yeah, bully him, Minotaro. Face hug him. Don't do that because he's taller than you. He's going to just shoot you into your top dirt. I want to see if I can pen the right side. Because actually, his uh, roof behind, like the front part of the turret, is really weak. I can just do that. I can overmatch it very easily. <laughs> now, if he puts his turret, his gun into my face, it's not going to be possible. But um, I can try. Wait, did I just pen your turret? Wait, uh, your gun? Did I oh, pen you your broke gun? my gun and pen gun? What, what? the fuck? <laughs> I just broke I his gun and I penned. Uh, when it <laughs> I happens, killed you. I, I just I really shot your hate. gun. <laughs> what I the killed fuck? you with your gun. Okay, there is. Uh, I think we may might have found the bug, uh, because you can shoot through the gun. You can break it, and you can actually do damage at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it it works on all tanks, but really rare, rare, rare. Rarely. Sorry, I'm. Okay. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not native English speaker as well. Yeah, I I I I do understand English very very well, but uh, when I need to start speaking, it sucks. I am sucking in. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Me too. I'm still surprised that so many people have actually subscribed to my channel. It's like, like I don't know why. Yeah. But well, I, I found out about you not so long time ago, so like a few months or so ago. It's great. I'm going to do more like um, terrible um thumbnails you know with uh like a really really like uh catchy thumbnails <laughs> uh no what do you call them these thumbnails that are like uh that are just there that, that are like completely completely fake the, the fake thumbnails um where you're just okay. kind of catfishing no, no, no. I, I know what you what you talking about, but I forget to wait. Uh, like, clickbait, clickbait. Ah, uh, clickbait. Yes, I'm gonna yeah. start clickbaiting like like this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just just be, be 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 careful because you can get like ban for this stuff. No, I'm, I'm not well, gonna start for clickbaiting. clickbaiting. Yeah. Don't don't worry. I'm not gonna start clickbaiting. I'm uh, I'm such a small channel. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, so. you know how they say, little by little, little by little, you you will gonna reach your own. Uh. 
Oh, this dead body. Run! Run from the mouse! <laughs> I mean, look at how fast the mouse has gotten. I, I don't recall this thing to be as, as fast as it is right now. Like, mouse oh, yeah, is it's... going uh, backwards. Well, um, like accelerating is backwards right? faster. Faster, yeah, backwards. It's like crazy. Look at this. <laughs> it's so fast. I yeah. Love it. He can oh. outrun uh, like AMX 40. Uh, oh, what? Going back. <laughs> <laughs> Even funny. knowing uh, that the AMX 40 has a uh, 40 kilometers per hour uh, uh, top speed. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Now, to be fair, like I've played, I've made World of Tanks content for 10 years now. Um, and I've played this game for 11 years and I'm slowly but surely I'm not really sure how long or how much longer I'm gonna be a part of World of Tanks because it's such you know I've uh, I've seen everything and Wargaming is basically I don't know Wargaming is doing so much to <laughs> uh, to improve the game and also break it at the same time you know what it is? I kind of feel like with the Minotaur, it feels like because of when the nerf Cranvongs came, like the Cranvong was like the highest like a tank could be pushed, like a tech tree tank, right? Before like you're just power creeping, like nothing you could not make a better tank than that, right? You get what I mean? Because it would just be way too much stronger than that. So I feel like they nerfed it to make it like the other tier tens. And then they're adding a new tier 10 tank that's equivalent to the power creeper level of the Cranvong. I feel like they're gonna like keep doing that. That makes makes sense because Kranwagen was I mean you know the, the thing is with the Kranwagen, like they can do whatever they want with the stats, but the Kranwagen still is going to be really good in rich light rich line fighting, right? Uh, because it doesn't have any man. doesn't have any turret weak spot it can just still like sit there and it's like okay yeah your accuracy is a bit worse your reload time is a bit longer but you're still going to be doing the same thing just a bit worse right so i think it, it confuses me why don't they just add a little bit of a weak spot on the kranwagen on top of the turret you know um the other values keep them like that but give it a little bit of a weak spot and you know because i would say that wasn't like the main problem with it right like for example my is right i shoot once right and then he clips me right within my reload and then on top of that he could hide but let's say he couldn't right then within two more of my shots he has a full another clip so that means basically in the time span of me like shooting two shots to almost three maybe right he's he's wasted out six shells into me you know what i mean mm -hmm. because of his reload and i think that was definitely a big problem i'm not saying it's fully solved the crown wrong but i mean it is it's kind of job to be a ridge fighter so i don't blame it for not uh staying the way it is with its armor but you definitely need a nerf on the reload in my just give it a little turret weak spot that we can actually hit, you know? Still, it would still be a good ridgeline fighter, but give it a little bit of a turret weak spot. It doesn't need to be a huge, like, cupola, but something where you can have at least sometimes the chance to go through. And um, you reduce a little bit of the reload, like, the DPM. And I think, generally speaking, the tank would be fine. Um, because, obviously, you want to keep it as a ridgeline fighter, but... Like, because they nerfed the HE, with HE at least you could still deal with them a little bit, you know? It's annoying, I know, that you're constantly getting he into the face, but it was the most um, reliable way to do damage. And now you kind of just sit there sometimes when there's a Kranwag on the ridge line and you're not really, well, you're not really taking part in the battle, you know? And that guy is just farming his 10k damage <laughs> every other game on that ridge line. Uh, I would say too because the speed nerf was really good because like it it did not need to go as fast as it can so it's going to be a, hot, a lot harder for it to get positions that it wants to get to now 
as a speed nerf. And then the accuracy nerf, I feel like, was just because why do you need a tank that's going to ridgeline fight and pretty much be up close because it's ridgeline fighting, right? But it has 30 dispersion, like... Yeah. So it can snipe your weak spots like no tomorrow and it has an auto loader so i definitely feel like it was very just to make it less accurate for that fact uh do you guys want to platoon with the new tanks we can yeah we can now three... like if you're if you want to try out the tanks in a combat scenario we can try it out now yeah yeah you want to do the tier nine since we haven't done the tier nine you can do the tier nine Okay, I am going uh, off uh, so you can play together. Uh, I will uh, join later if if there will be a free room for for me. <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm going to sleep in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I have to no, go to so work I, tomorrow. I, I will, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will come back soon, like after five minutes oh. or so. Okay. So, okay. so. Maybe we will meet once again, <laughs> and it was nice to to meet you with you and chat with you in in in, in nice the training fun. room. <laughs> it's fun. It's the CEC European server uh, players on uh, playing with NA NA players. Even though I should be yeah. on uh, EU, I should be on EU too, but I made yeah. a mistake ten years ago, no oh, eleven years ago. Yeah, well, I think where gaming sh should make uh, um, a server that would unite uh, all all, re all regions just like test server, and that uh, you could uh, go to the to this yeah. server. There is one, but only for the Steam version of World of Tanks. But you have to make a new account. It's really it's really weird. Um, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, but, uh, I am not about to to creating another account. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, only once, <laughs> only once, <laughs> no more than one time in life. I don't have yeah, uh, yeah. I don't have enough patience to play World of Tanks with a second account. No, thank you. No, nah, now, now when I know uh, almost every almost everything about the world of tanks uh, i could uh, use my knowledge and move a lot faster than i am now but i don't really want to try it out because be be proud of your stats <laughs> be proud of your your humble beginnings yeah i'm i'm improving my stats that i fucked up with the <laughs> Missions, uh, campaign missions. When I was doing the the missions for the two seven nine e and yeah, you you just don't play the game. You just try to do the mission. <laughs> yeah, like, like I did with the tortoise. I just I just drove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please shoot me, but don't kill me. But only shoot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was doing that mission, I was pretending I am noob and shooting into the air. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's, that's really good. that's how I finished it. <laughs> Play like <laughs> a bot. <laughs> yeah, I like an an angry angry bot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, mate, mate. So okay. one, one more time, thank you for uh, for the time, and see you later. See you later. Uh, I'm gonna invite you into the the platoon. One second. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> so, like, the hell. Hello, Thomas. Welcome to the, to the stream. It's a, it's very chaotic this time around. The stream is very chaotic. Uh, We've been trying out there. everything. Let's see tier nine. What does? Yeah, funny nine? enough, I actually like my stats because uh, like three thousand my battles for when or when I was like from when I was like ten and twelve, right? And I had to do schoolwork, so I'm just AFK in the game to get EXP. 
So like <laughs> basically gave me the horrible stats of 3000 battles, right? And so I actually enjoy it now because, you know, uh, I forget the name of the mod, but the mod that allows players to see other players' statistics, right? XVM. Yeah, they always think I'm absolute dog water, but it's funny because I'm actually like the level of a purple player pretty much. So they just never see it coming and I never get targeted. Feels good. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I remember, I recall um, starting World of Tanks and playing it on my PC that literally caught on fire because of playing World of Tanks because it couldn't handle it. And I was like so busy recording the experience with my phone or with my iPod Touch back then to show to my friends how cool this game is that I just drove off like I drove into water and I drove into like dumb areas to get shot at, but I wanted to record it myself. And then, like first ten thousand games were a complete mess on my account. Like <laughs> that was, great. but it's fun, you know. Like I mean, the yeah, stats. Yeah, yeah. I like I I really got into the XVM thing back then, and then I started to improve, and I I started to adapt, and I started to learn, and then that became like really the motivation behind it, but. After a while, I noticed to, you know, I want to have fun. I don't want to treat it like work. And I got into a groove where I was having fun. I was trying out things. And I think I'm right at, at, a, at a place where I, I still care about stats. You know, I want to see how I improve myself. I made a video like uh, two or three weeks ago where I'm finally like purple in, you know, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not really purple, but I'm kind of purple. But it's a long story and that that was like a little bit of a goal for me but i never wanted to be toxic and you know um be like super salty towards my uh team team um yeah yeah no i get what you're saying like it's it's exactly how i play like i may play like very well a lot of the time but like i'm not trying trying like if i die or if i fuck up i don't like rage about it like a lot of yuna comes do you know what i mean like it's like all right whatever <laughs> and like most of the time you'll find me doing fun stuff like in my is7 just ramming people bro i have a clip within the first 30 seconds of the battle i came around a corner going 70 in my is7 there's an amex 30b you could just see in the turret wiggle the panic of him not expecting <laughs> me there, I rammed him for his full health. Imagine him, right? Imagine you're a mean tank coming around the corner, first 30 seconds of the battle, you're just out. You're one shot <laughs> in because of <I> ram. <laughs> but I wouldn't even be mad because that's like such a crazy thing you don't expect to have like a torpedo I-7 on your face, like immediately when like the, the game starts. And I think... You know, sometimes there are like such crazy things that happen in this game, and it's it's so funny. Like once I uh, drove over a cliff onto a friendly tank, and I barrel rolled myself over him, and during the barrel roll, I shot the tank that was in front of him and killed him. And the guy was just like, like when he when he when he saw that, like he was going crazy in chat because it was such a hilarious encounter, <laughs> and like. I mean, these are the, the moments you play or why you play World of Tanks, right? You want to have fun. In the end, it's still a game. Like, the stats, you know, you can make everything around the stats. But, like, if you don't have fun even with the stats, I don't think you're going to have fun in the game at all. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, for example, going back to the IS-7, like, even the AMX-3, right? Like, people love it. Like my team loves it, bro. Like you, I like I get half of my team and the enemy team messaging me every time I get a really good ram about it and how much it made <laughs> their day seeing that shit. <laughs> that's always like that's always so fun. Like uh, when you have a a platoon of three IS sevens that just run in into the you know, and you just go ram kill. Like the the best platoons are always like. The three E fifty M's and you just know what they're there to do, you know. Three E fifty M's, what are you expecting? They're just gonna be rolling down the nearest hill looking for one target. They're all gonna drive their tanks into that one specific target. And that's all they came in for, and it's always so much fun to see that. But, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, it's just, yeah, I also get it, like, uh, it can be frustrating when you're losing, when you're in a loss streak, and I mean, this game can be really brutal, you can be on such crazy loss streaks in World of Tanks, like, I've never seen something like this, having, I, I once lost about 35 games in a row in the uh, M3Y, and it's not because I didn't play correctly yet. I was probably tired, so I <laughs> probably wasn't come uh, like playing the best. Oh, we we just got kicked out because no one's playing tier nines. I, I guess we're just gonna have to go play the tier ten. <laughs> I think see. we have to play the tier ten, or we have to switch the server because it's CT one is like almost there's nobody online. CT two two thousand. Do you want to switch server and try tier nine again? Yeah, we can try. We can just switch server real fast. I'm just going to switch real fast. I think honestly the worst losing streaks are like like I don't mind losing as long as I get to pen a couple people, have my fun, right? But I think the worst losing streaks that even get to me are the ones where you lose and during the match, like you just can't get shots on anyone and they always like get a shot on you or pen you by some magical bullshit. And then the times you do finally get a shot, like let's say a nice side shot into someone, your shell just goes into the infant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Oh boy. Yeah, like th th they are really like these games are really horrible, where you just, where you just constantly getting like shafted by R and Your leader, by the way. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go. Damn, he even has the uh, the patriotic uh, American flag on the A phase one. Yeah, America. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it from that. Uh, what was that? Uh, July fourth, or, or something like this. Oh the yeah, Mar the July fourth, the the national holiday. Yeah, I got Fun only two, colors. two, 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 three. 2D styles, uh, but uh, the the war gaming said it it is possible to get three of them. How I I am un I don't understand because uh, there was a, a, enough of um, what what was that uh, not badges. Well, the thing is, uh, you you were using to. The tokens, the the tokens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there was enough tokens only for two of the uh, styles, but they said uh, that you can get three of them. So I don't understand. Well, wargaming is not very good at math, and yeah, wargaming. I, <laughs> I noticed that. Wargaming also expect you to be able to get like the marathons, you know, where you have to. Like, get the, the premium tank for free, where they're like, you can get the tank for free. You just have to play, like, 10 days without sleep and every single hour. No, 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 no. Funniest part, there was not on sale. If I am not, 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 not remember correctly, if I am remember correctly, it wasn't for sale. Those tiles wasn't for sale. It, it was just just uh, for grinders. Okay. And I was grinding like hell, like no life, in, as I am doing right now. But you know, like the styles. Like I have so many tanks in my garage. I don't want tanks anymore. I want styles. I want. I want to have yeah, like, me different too, me styles. Too. I like, don't care about really, the tanks. 
yeah, 3D styles, some, some 3D styles, for example, on 122TM, it is like a little bit too too much for me, but oh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, on 122TM, the guest, 3D style, the guest. The, wait, uh, what kind of 3D style? Is that, is that with the bison? With the, like the... No, no, the no, no, on, no, on... T8 uh, premium China uh, Ch Chinese uh, medium tank 122 TM the guest uh, with with the fireworks and, and other stuff like <laughs> when I I could show you for for, for you after if, if what yeah I I think do you guys uh, remember the um type 5 heavy the uh yeah, Godzilla, yeah. the the kaiju yeah. style oh my god that's horrible it's so over the top <laughs> there are so many machine guns on the tank like everywhere there's yeah. a machine gun yeah well mouse mouse 3d style is kind of weird too yeah too, i miss i miss the big. um oh sorry no 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 talk talk uh, I, I miss the IS-7's machine gun at the back, you know, the the Dishka that was uh, standing up on the old model. Mm -hmm. It's still there, it's just folded over. And yeah, covered. it's folded, but it has to stand up. That's... I kind of hated it, it was in the way oh, of the cam, no. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't <laughs> I like that it, it blocked my view. But they have like a style where there's like a, a whole bunch of machine guns at the back. I don't think anyone's playing two nine. Yeah, I don't think anyone's playing. They're all they're all trying to to play the tier ten. Yeah. What what I don't like that uh, most of the new players is trying to get uh, the tier X tier tier ten tanks. So. Oh, like really fast, like. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, I am I am so good at this game. I am just started. Let's let's play the hardcore, uh, and they are doing like one two shots and going back to the garage. <laughs> it's like the FV the chieftain when uh, everyone could get the chieftain through clan wars. <laughs> I remember that when they were like, okay, you know what? You don't have to play clan wars. You just have to like uh, have a a little bit of time. Oh, one second, I have to get the crew right. Bro, the Chieftain, when everyone got it, oh my god, that that was fun. You know why? Because every, I... like, every Chieftain player you'd see was shit in it, and you could just shit on them. It was so <laughs> easy to kill them. <laughs> it was so weird to see Chieftains, like, driving up to you, like, being really aggressive and not using like gun depression and hills but they just were right in front of you and you were able to shoot their lower plates and it just didn't make any sense because i always it, you were always playing against good chieftains all of a sudden you have some chieftains that no know, don't know how to play the chieftain and it's like what is going on why does this chieftain only do 300 damage yeah but, they uh... just show their side to you and you're like okay <laughs> I know yeah. what I will do. I will load the high explosive. Oh yeah, I want it for the FV. Or, for yeah, the yeah, FV, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's end them. I like the Doge kind of skin, or the uh, the skin looks very well on this tank. It fits very well, in my opinion. The Doge skin. Or, I forget the name of this game, whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, it's, it's, it is Doge, I think. It was something like that. Yeah, I, I think it fits very well on this tank, funny enough. Oh, wait. I think, I think I'm think i going to go up to the... Uh, they they fixed the uh, C6, 6C7 6, area. So you can no longer actually get like early shots on the enemies that are crossing. I want to see what they've done if they just added like a mountain on top. Or something like that. Oh, bro, I'd hate that, because always when you're on the other side, when you try to climb up that, enemies would rush that to get free shots into you. Yeah, that's why nobody went there anymore after a while. And then they just kind of had um, easy access to the base. 
I remember that because I was always there by myself and it really sucked. Oh, can we hit the EBR with a uh, high explosive? But the shell velocity is really good on the high, high explosive. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So. It's weird. It's too good. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of different and weird choices. Have you seen the 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 premium, um, the premium French light tank, the tier nine that they are going to bring out? Yeah, like yeah. I, I wrote a comment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Uh, you said it's going to be a really uh, overpowered vehicle uh, with those stats, right? Yeah, too too overpowered. If they will make it like this in into reality then it will be like at least 10 times uh, more toxic than ebr oh my god you <laughs> but it looks like really cool you know the idea behind it like that you you fire once and you fire three shots immediately like you know like an auto cannon yeah like there is a t46 tier tier 3 uh, russian yeah, yeah. light tank that has the, the similar uh, gun. Wait, do you think it's too fast? Oh, there's the FV. There he is. Well, it has the, the, the speed. I wonder... The rapid uh, mode, right? What? Yeah, well, I, I, I wonder uh, if it will be uh, the, the, the same, uh, like... Um, the CS Polish 63? Medium. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're FV. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> didn't pen. I didn't pen. What? You didn't really? pen? I did 736. I did probably 577. But it was no pen? It was pen. Sorry. Yeah, it must have been a pen. It was just minus 25. Uh, Minus 25, as always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no good RNG for you. Only bad RNG. Yeah. That's why my nick is like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always angry just because of this. What? <laughs> I just spent the AMX 50. Oh, right. It has 130. Penetration, high explosive. Yeah, I still have like the high explosive shells for the uh, badger and the object. Oh! Okay. Enemy IMX roll uh, uh, roll around. Uh. Out of seven hundred. Oh no. Wait. TVP just unloaded. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, right, I'm gonna head out to go get myself uh, dinner. So I'll catch you guys later. I enjoyed the game. So definitely would love to play again. <laughs> yeah, me too. Cool. Fun. <laughs> you have a good, uh, good uh, food. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your dinner. Forgot how to say correctly in English. Sorry. I think after this game, I'm gonna go offline and uh, I'm gonna stop the stream. It's okay. Good time to go to sleep. Yeah. My 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 head isn't working uh, too just because uh, it's a little bit late. Nah, don't worry, it's the test server. Do whatever you want to do on the test server. <laughs> no, I, I am talking about the, the, the language. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's because I am not really good in, in English at the moment. <laughs> no, it's fine. I understand you. That's it's great. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's try to win this. Oh, this is going to be a really tough one. Uh, uh, yeah, we we just need to to clip that VZ. And VZ, after... and then you you can clean up the object. Oh, the uh, the object is dead. Yes. 
Oh, VZ is running. Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, Minotaur. Minotauro. Oh, uh -huh. I am, Minotauro now is I am afraid you. about... Uh, I, I am now afraid of uh, TUP. And Minotaur. Okay, not good, not good. Oh, I didn't pen his lower plate, really? It uh, was yeah, green. It's <laughs> sometimes it's really good. Ah, unlucky, but nice. No. This this can still be a win. Like uh, if uh, if the TVP. Oh no, TVP just killed. The TVP did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, better luck next time. Yeah. That's true. Okay, mate. So it's it's the end, or or let's go another one. <laughs> oh no, it's time to sleep. I need to wake up at okay. five forty. <laughs> oh shit, that sucks. Okay, mate. So have a good sleep, and uh, we will. I hope we will play once again in in, in the future. In another test server. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe <laughs> you will invite me. Oh. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I didn't want to kick you like that. I completely forgot the voice chat is in the platoon. I just wanted to close the platoon. But yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks for playing. Um, for my channel. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> I forgot that when you close the platoon, you're also going to close the, the voice chat. But um, it's been fun, David. Um, some some fun games. Uh, I think we've seen what these tanks are capable of. And uh, I think we've seen what the world of tanks with the test server is like I don't think I'm just gonna invite him to the platoon real fast <laughs> because I feel bad now like this <laughs> I'm gonna create the platoon I need platoon find player Hello, hello, once again. Hello, sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to kick nah. you, but I forgot that when I closed yeah, yeah, the yeah. tune, it just closes yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no problem, no problem. So look, there is a, a referral program in, in NA server or no? Yeah, there is one, but do you really want to start playing World of Tanks on NA? Oof, that's, it's like, uh, like you have to start over completely. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I would just come to, to, to help you out with the free tank, or, or, or maybe you already have all, all the tanks to, to yeah. it from the referral all... program. But sure thing, uh, if you want to make an uh, NA account, like um, yeah, I wanted, so... I've been thinking about making like a clan just for like. Uh, if anyone wants to like play, um, have like a little World of Tanks clan for the channel, which is kind of low key and uh, where people can play and it's non toxic. <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> what kind of stats you have, so that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 Because Wait, I, you said, <laughs> you said yeah? about the stats, and I I noticed it just now. What 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 world of tank rating do you have what the um, fuck 
<laughs> that's what? Not... <laughs> what? I don't know what this rating is. <laughs> It's as a, my rating in World of Tanks is nine thousand one hundred seventy four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but in, but uh, look, in, in the platoon, platoon it's a thousand four hundred. I don't know why. Yeah. But yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's... Okay, so maybe in the future, I, I we will create, and <laughs> and maybe I don't know. We will come to each other's uh, uh, servers. <laughs> yeah. Well, as as a referral pro program, <laughs> for, for friends. Okay, mate. Thank you one more okay. time, and and see you later. We will and chat fun. in in the YouTube. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the support. See you. Uh, good night. You too. <sighs> okay, guys. I'm gonna close up the stream. It's been fun. Um. It's been fun playing with <laughs> viewers. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, <laughs> I actually only live streamed today because I, I was too lazy to make a video <laughs> um, to cover all of the tanks at once. But it's been fun and i um, going to see if we can do it again in the future. But until then, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the, in the future.